I don't think I ever want to make art again because that was yeah. too good. Like uh, watching it, I was just like, this is so incredible that not only you can't describe it to people, but it's the kind of movie that when people think of like AI art and they're like, mm. oh, why would artists make anything? I'm like, this is it. You yeah. can't, I, I, as of right now, mark my words if I'm wrong in mm -hmm. 10 years, but this is the kind of thing I'm like, an AI would never remotely in its, you know, heart of hearts think that it could ever make yeah. something like this. Like, exactly. I'm, I'm willing to bet that if you, if you go to whatever GPT chat, whatever, mm -hmm. to whatever AI thing, yeah. and you ask it to do, hey, um, can you in one image, and I'm asking an image, not a fucking, <laughs> how, how long was this movie? This, this was actually apparently the longest animated film. Because animated films, they're trying to like be like, a movie should be 90 minutes. Yeah. We ha it takes a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. to make one. This movie was like two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so imagine telling an AI, draw me a frame mm -hmm. of every single whatever Spider-Man. It doesn't matter. You choose AI, whatever. Mm -hmm. do, you do you. Choose in different art styles and have yeah. it work, have it mm -hmm. appealing, have it yeah. not be just vomit. Yeah. You know when uh, someone starts their very first project yeah. and they're like, I'm gonna put every idea in it. Mm -hmm. This felt like, how can I say, a good execution of that. And by yeah. idea, I mean like the styles, mm -hmm. the, the 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 music, the yeah. everything, everything combined in there. Seriously. There's a lot of, there's a lot of Spider-Mans in this, you this, know? I, to the point where I was just like, I don't think they reused a Spider-Man at all in the background. Like- I don't think so, I, yeah. I kept looking and I couldn't mm -hmm. re-identify any of them. <laughs> they're, all, they're all different. They're all just God. all over the place. So to get this quick, like, Mm -hmm. introduction yes. is that the first spider-man movie like uh, of this kind um mm -hmm. enter the spider-verse was by lord miller mm -hmm. these two directors are known for taking the piss out of like content so they made um the lego movie i think they made lego batman uh and they also made the they were working on the solo movie mm -hmm. but then got kicked and ron howard replaced them and they're known for taking like a property mm -hmm. that has so much extra bits around it. And then they incorporate all of that in there. Like in the Lego movie, they mentioned like Bionicles for a second. Like Ooh, yeah. anything that if you were thinking of it, like as a fan, you would immediately be like, oh yeah, no, that's, this is something I would understand. And if you don't like meta text, mm -hmm. you're gonna hate everything they make. Because yeah. this movie has so much at the core of like, if you've if you've like been reading Spider-Man for so long, and same thing with the last movie, mm -hmm. but if you've been reading Spider-Man or understand Spider-Man from like the base of it, where you've watched a bunch of video essays about like, well, every Spider-Man has this or yeah. that, they're the ones that are just like, no, I wrote the book on all that, and I'm gonna show you mm -hmm. how that not alone is like a formula, how we can take that formula and flip it on its head in a way that means something about something completely different. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm being really vague here. Yeah. But I, you gotta for this movie. Absolutely mm. no, I, I like the I like the idea that uh, first of all, like <laughs> you have to watch a whole bunch of videos of all these different Spider Man to like want to understand it. And this mm. is what I like about uh, the directors that you mentioned. Yeah, is that sure the the vast knowledge that they have with the properties that they work with mm -hmm. it, it is is vast, right? And yeah. it is not how can I say this? It's not public knowledge. Sure. All of these Spider Mans, all of these references and whatnot, mm -hmm. but to deliver it in a way where audiences can like all laugh about it and all enjoy it, yeah, and like not question it like whatsoever yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is really good. Is, is, is something mm, well, nice to that note? I mean, it, it, it's so effortless. That's yeah. the thing. That's why I'm like, I never want to make art again because this makes the complex ideas about Spider-Man mm -hmm. as well as the very simple ideas yeah. so easy to process that you're just like, oh, it feels like uh, the easiest thing you've ever seen. Similarly to what you said, it's just like, I wanna put everything in this yes. movie. They did it and made it look like it was like walking in the park. Like, yeah, exactly. And, and that's why, and that's why mm -hmm. don't, I mean, in art, don't worry about AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> like, seriously. Like, don't worry about AI when it comes about art, I mean, seriously. <sighs> You're gonna have a Spider-Man that throws stuff like this, <laughs> right? But mm. the directors will make it work. AI won't. Nope. They, we, they won't even know how to get the hands they right. Won't, what are you no, talking they can't about? even do that right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. But, so we've talked a little bit about an overview, but before we get into the actual movie, I want to mm -hmm. talk about like stuff surrounding the movie mm -hmm. and how much every one of these reviews we usually end up talking about the trailers. And I was surprised that the trailer, one of the teaser trailers, like mm -hmm. it wasn't even a trailer actually, showed uh, Miles being chased by all of these other spider people. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, that seems like that should maybe just be a quick thing that happens at the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. And the fact that like the crux of like, all of the intrigue and stuff 
it's around there. I wouldn't say that like this is a spoiler, but I was waiting for that moment to happen, and I was yeah. just like, oh, this is gonna happen at like near the end. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I believe the um, what is it? The uh, e going not 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 the whole spoiler thing, but even sure. in the first movie, yeah. they kind of like uh, in a way already introduced the so called like bad guy in this one or whatever, yeah. which is like future Spider Man. I'm just gonna call him future Spider Man. Yeah, there's uh, so many Spider Man. Mi Miguel O'Hara, uh, Spider Man. Like that's, that's his real name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, voiced by Oscar Isaac, mm -hmm. who is taking over the multiverse. Seriously, he's taking over. These. Yeah, he was in uh, X Men Apocalypse. He was in Dune. He was in. Uh, the Marvel is uh, Moon Knight, you name mm -hmm. it. There's like a bunch of people talking about that right now that he's just picking up all the pieces of the Infinity Gauntlet exactly. and putting them together. But no, in, in the commercials, it was like uh, him going after them. And you're right. They only showed the whole bunch of spider man for like for a fraction of a second. Mm -hmm. I tried to avoid trailers yeah. after the first one. Yeah. Mostly because even after the first one, no matter how good or bad the movie is, sure. they always spoil it. Yeah. And I think like even today, while we were before we watched this movie, mm -hmm. we saw three different trailers. Yeah. And they were all spoiled mm -hmm. and stuff like that, which was like I think it was the Kraken one that was spoiled to us. Yeah. Um, the one the about trolls um, one. the trolls one, <laughs> yeah. and also the one about the granny talking to his son about like <laughs> about the whatever. Yeah. My God. It, like uh, I think that was called White Bird or yes. something. Yes. Uh, but then I think you were in the bathroom, and then they, yeah. No, 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 we saw it, the Gran Turismo movie. The Gran Turismo like, movie, they just gave everything yeah. away. But, man, I got to say. Yes. This is this is a small spoiler, guys. Very oh small. Gosh. We're not getting into full spoilers yet. But, my God, am I so pissed that I saw an interview with uh, the voice actors for Miles, um, for Gwen Stacy, and for Peter B. Parker. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, well, what's your favorite universe? And, like, all of the, the both uh, the voice actor for Gwen and Miles were just like, I liked Gwen's universe because mm -hmm. it looked really cool. And I really liked how it looked. Part and of I'm the like, story, reading a script. Yeah. And I'm just like, cool, that's not a spoiler because it's Gwen. We'll mm -hmm. probably see that. And then uh, <laughs> the dude for me to be Peter B. Parker. <laughs> Parker's like, I love the Lego one. The Lego one was great. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck you. What are you, why are you doing you, this? Why is this? Yeah. So, so dude, that, mm -hmm. that's the thing about like, how many, be honest, how many yeah. interviews have you seen with like main talent yeah. where like either they spoil parts of the movie yeah. or they just seem completely uninterested? Yeah, seriously. The thing about people, and this is just general people enjoying mm -hmm. what they do, is mm -hmm. that they're going to they're gonna ruin. They're gonna yeah, like exactly. ruin secrets. You well, and that's, I. Tom Holland is like the other Spider-Man oh, is like known. Jesus. Yes. Now there's one other thing that you had mentioned to me before the movie that I think would be uh, criminal not to talk about, mm -hmm. which was the collaboration that the movie had. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. So basically, before two months, I think I want to say two weeks before this movie came out, okay. uh, a shock drop was released. Mm -hmm. um, for those who have noticed, if you're a sneakerhead, mm -hmm. uh, the first. The, I mean, yeah. look at his drip. I mean, come on. <laughs> No, whatever. Uh, the, the first movie uh, had iconic Jordans. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Product placement, whatnot. <laughs> but the thing is, people consider the shoes important. Yeah. And that's that's awesome. It really is. Like sure. Collectors like me enjoy that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they released a shock drop for this movie mm -hmm. because they said, hey, man, shoes sure sell, don't they? <laughs> and like right now in the shoe market, it's kind of like low. Oh. So like okay. they released a shot drop. They're called the the fragments, I think. Oh, the fragmented, that's a good the name fragmented for it. ones. And I've seen it in person. They look really, really nice. Ooh, they look nice. really cool. Oh, okay, cool. Like not only they obviously collaborated with Lego, yeah. but they collaborated with like sneakers. Uh, mm -hmm. Gwen was using, uh, she she had uh, Converse on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Which I thought yeah. was weird because she, she's supposed to have the, uh, the ballet dancer uh, yeah, yeah, shoes, she, I thought. She wears those in her costume, but like walking around, I think she wears Converse. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah no, you can't be like, hey, Spine, oh my God, he's yeah. got Jordans on. Yeah. Like, it's no <laughs> yeah. shit. But to, I mean, to kind of pinch off mm -hmm. like the collaboration. Also, here's stuff. a link to it. Yeah. Doesn't right it look right. nice? Just right there. <laughs> <laughs> but to pinch, I'm not going to edit any of that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even put an image there, just blur it. <laughs> it's just a blur. Just it's like a, a mosaic blur. blur. Yeah. Um, but to pinch off, yeah, mm -hmm. a ter terrible, terrible uh, way for them to um, collaborate. Did you get the BK Miles Morales burger, the Whopper? I I, I, I saw the blue burger. It's red. Wait, and it's awful. It's, was it blue? No, I saw a blue burger get stomped on. A blue on, get stomped? Oh, you mean in the movie? Yeah. No, in the movie, there's a blue one. In real life, there is a Miles Morales red Whopper from Burger King. What is it bleeding? I, I ate it. 
is bad. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Whoa, you ate it, dude. I ordered it, and I, I'll see if I have the photo of it. I took a photo of it. It's the saddest burger I've ever seen oh, in my life. No. It's so fun. And that's the thing that I find funny is like uh, Burger King is known for just doing that. Like mm. McDonald's would be like, cool, we associated with this rapper or whoever, and we have their meal. Well, mm -hmm. Whopper, like Burger King's like, we died the burger. It's the same, though. <laughs> I swear. Same, though. Here's, yeah. here's a Miles Morales burger. And yeah. it's like, oh, it's red. God. Uh, but now to get into spoilers, it's really interesting to me how much of this movie has like so many like little jokes that mm. are, if you notice them, they're like, oh, that's like a reference. Yeah. But they still work as just jokes. And I mean, the first movie kind of had that. But this one, there were so many deep cuts, mm -hmm. like deep cuts. My favorite one, just to kick it off, is that they're talking about like, oh, Miguel O'Hara is really cool. He's a really cool Spider-Man. He's also kind of a vampire, but it's okay. Like he's got yeah. it under control. And then Miles says, he's just like, oh my God, a good vampire? I'd pay to see that. <laughs> and then I was just like, it's Morbin time, my dudes. I can't, believe, more... I can't believe Sony called themselves out to be like, yep, we're, we know, we get it. It's Sony Pictures. We could take a joke. It's mm -hmm. fine. Which Lord Miller, I mean, like, if they couldn't take a joke, Lord Miller would be, like, out of a job. I would like to think that, like, that, like, you know how there was always a pre-screening where, mm -hmm. like, the directors sit there and they go. <laughs> <laughs> and, you yeah. know, and they're like, yeah, yeah can yeah. we release it now? <laughs> exactly. Do you, think, do you think the producers, like, they... Did, in every movie, not every movie, but like a lot of movies, there's mm. always that jab. It's like, ah, oh, producers, you know? Yeah. Do you ever think they always go like, ooh? I think they like money. And so they'll let anything go. Think about the producers, damn it. That was the thing about the uh, uh, Matrix 4 movie is that they deliberately like yeah. called it out in the script to the point where, I mean, Warner Brothers is different than Sony. Mm -hmm. But I think that these movies have such a pedigree that like, okay, the first one was, one, didn't it win an Oscar? Like uh, Into the Spider-Verse, didn't it? Um, it? Yeah, it definitely did. Because it it must have. It dethroned Disney from getting the like best animated picture mm -hmm. Oscar every single year, is what I remember. So like for them, I feel like they could take a joke. And especially that like, it's funny because that movie is such of like, it became a meme to the mm -hmm. point where Sony thought they could actually make money by putting it back in theaters. So yeah. I, think, I think at this point they get that it's a joke as well as there were a couple of Marvel commercials about other stuff mm -hmm. that they said, like, it's Morbin time. You know, they oh knew that God, this is yeah. like, this is BS. So I really love that. I was like, immediately, I'm just like, good for them. Just throwing in jokes about mm -hmm. this uh, this other stuff. But there were so many other, like, really standout moments. Uh, the one that takes maybe not too long, but is very noticeable, is the original um, animated Spider-Man showing up. Yes. Yeah. Like, okay, so we... we we all know memes where they yeah. come from and whatnot, mm. but the, the the seeing OG show up <laughs> yeah. is, is, is so so cool. It's not even that they do the meme of like people pointing, but it of wasn't course. even that moment. It was him like doing the mm -hmm. web swing. It's it's yeah. it, nothing important really. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm here, bye. Yeah, it's it's just like, <laughs> has a punch like coming. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's perfect. It was God, awesome. It's great. No, it, everyone gets their like little moment. Yep. And exactly. like again, you don't. I feel like you don't have to understand where they come from. You don't have yep. to understand anything about them. Yeah. It's just enjoy the joke. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, directors. Thank you. Wow. Wow, Sony and Lord Miller in association with Marvel Productions. Thank mm -hmm. you, everybody. Which, it was funny because the beginning of the movie, there's so many of those logos that show up. Oh, As, my also God. Also, Pascal, Pascal uh, Pictures worked on the Spider-Man Homecoming, like those three movies. Oh, okay. So I think they also had a hand in this. Like the entire Spider-Man franchise is mm -hmm. becoming this insular, like, bubble. But, yeah, there were so many of them that, like... It's funny because the first movie had that joke showing like this is a part of the D comics association, mm -hmm. which was kind of like a meme. It turned into a meme because it, it was it, saying it, like, sorry, yeah. it wasn't part of it. It was approved. Ex yeah. Approved by the, by, by the, the comic association yeah. or whatever. Which became like a red stamp to be like, this is good for your children. We made sure there wasn't any death or whatever in it. So for them to stamp that on there is like a meme in the first movie. Mm -hmm. But this one, it wasn't only a meme. It was like, there's like a boom mm -hmm. when it comes out <laughs> to be like, yeah, no, we're taking the piss again. I mean, the entire movie is about that. What if it kept on going? What if you what if you saw the Nintendo seal of approval <laughs> at, like after a bit? Yeah. You see the IRS after a bit, you see the Xbox 
Fox logo. Yeah, like, you okay, literally what turned the, what? to me and you're just like, man, I thought the IRS was going to yeah, show like, up there's, there's, there's so many logos going on and yeah. happening here. And mm-hmm. usually, I don't know, I feel like the more you see that, the more people are like digging their hands in there and being mm-hmm. like, oh, do this, do this. Yeah. But like, no, this one, is still, it still felt like a clear vision. It yeah, didn't. Definitely. It didn't like scatter across the multiverse you know well especially every single scene i feel Mm -hmm. had one element of it that like transcended what you could do in physical like medium the one the one that like really like jogged my brain to be like Mm -hmm. oh cool every single scene is going to have like some cool shit in it is when um miles and gwen are like talking to each other and then they start like as they're walking to us it looks like they're walking in a straight line Mm -hmm. but the rest of the world curves because spider-man can walk on any surface yeah and they go upside down and you see the skyline inverted which they did in the first movie but like a landscape like yes. yeah they're sitting at the bottom corner of the frame as if they were looking up at the sky or something mm-hmm. but they're looking up at the ground it's yeah it's beautiful it, 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 and the symbolism behind it too like in the yeah. first movie it was like oh he's not falling he's rising up yes. that, that was the symbolism in that exactly, one yeah. while in, in in this one it was more like yeah we're in the same world but we're we're flipped like this yeah. shit like everything around it is like mm-hmm. flipped his life you, got flipped turned upside down mm-hmm. and like <laughs> can we just enjoy the view it, 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 it changes just so as much yeah. i think um it, it was how can i say again going back with the whole thing it was like all these ideas all this all these visions mm-hmm. coming together into like one single frame yeah and to like make it not vomity <laughs> yep, you know exactly like it, it, it and gets, we saw it in like dolby imax everything like biggest ooh, screen you could ooh. but none of it felt like jarring we saw yeah. we heard we everything everything <laughs> was there yeah. it was just the fact that it was still consumable yeah you know what i mean have you ever gone to a buffet and grabbed the plate with everything mm-hmm. to the point and like everything in the buffet is in the plate and yeah. you're eating it and suddenly the plate just tastes the same yeah you know what i mean and this one was still like oh it's like separated it's like still it was nice. like one of those like 12 course meals you get mm-hmm. like that are a million dollars where it's just like each individual each of those yes. pieces won't fill you up mm-hmm. but they're so rich and delicious that mm-hmm. like the entire course feels like an experience yes. that was this fucking movie and, and the, how can i say this um, I guess well, we're not going into spoilers because like the sure. movie, the first movie still had similar bits. Sure. Uh, but in this one, they emphasize it more. Yeah. In which uh, the different universes truly did have their own different styles. Yes. They they homed in on like uh, for yeah. example, like Gwen's world. Yeah. Very water painty. Yeah. When when like things pastel colors. Super pastel-y. When when uh, things were getting emotional or heavy, mm. the colors start to run. Yeah. And like they start to mix. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the color theory becomes super on the nose. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm completely fine with sure. that. Like, oh no, she's sad. Blue. Like, yeah, yeah. It, but exactly. It's fine. Or like, like oh, yeah. the the uh, everything is 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 confusion, mixture of colors, purples, and like yes. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It, it's it, it goes with what you were saying that you wouldn't think it's possible to like see it. Like you see it in yeah. your head. You see it in your head. But how do you draw it? Yeah. How do you put that in there? Mm-hmm. Part of me really wants to shoot like, um, how can I say, like a shot of just like someone talking, like having a heavy scene, like in this, in, in the movie, right? Sure, sure. But to like change the background, yeah, like roto to, them to mm-hmm. mess with the bokeh, yeah, to 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 do that kind of thing. Would it look messy to the yeah. real, to the human eye, or would it mm-hmm. look kind of like in the movie? Yeah, but like I don't know, it's. It's, it's mesmerizing. It really yeah. is. It really it, is. It's one of those things where this would not work in any other medium mm-hmm. under any other circumstance whatsoever. Yes. It's so perfectly executed mm-hmm. that like, like we mentioned that there's, there, there are like the three sections to this. Yes. Where like as a beginner, you start off and you're like, I really want to do this, but you don't have the talent to do it. Mm-hmm. Not talent, but you know, you haven't built up those skills. Then you get intermediate and you're like, I want to do this. I can kind of achieve it, but it's not perfect. Yeah. And or if, if you do achieve it, it's the kind of thing that you watch the movie, maybe you watch it with a friend, they're mm-hmm. watching your thing. And they're like, well, what did you mean by this? They don't get it perfectly. You get Bo's afraid. I need to see, I still need to see that. <laughs> Is that thing just like incomprehensible? It bombed, bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm so pissed because I didn't hear about it until it had just left theaters. And they were just like, hey, you should go see it. I was like, fuck, I can't. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But in the same way that you get to the very end of that kind of like Pokemon evolution, Mm -hmm. where the Charizard version is that you have a vision in your head, you have enough skills to execute it, and when you execute it, it's immediately understandable. Yes. And this movie felt super long because not only it kind of was, it's a longer animated movie, which isn't a bad thing, but Mm -hmm. 
I feel like they had so many different things to say and were so quick and simple and effective at saying it that by the end, I'm like, this movie has conveyed so much to me that I feel like I went through an entire odyssey, even though that was shorter than every goddamn Marvel mm -hmm. movie now. Like, it was, uh, man, I'm getting so tired of movies being like, oh, cool, I'm excited to see this. Oh, this is going to be three hours. Great. Yeah. This is awesome. But this was like, it was a longer animated movie, but it was concise and like super, just candy. It was, oh, it was, oh. It's, it's, it, I think it, it emphasizes because like, um, how can I say, the, the scenes in the movies, yeah. I don't think there's anything that we would take away personally. Sure. If I'm honest, like I don't think I would take away any scene. Yeah. Um, the importance behind of like all of them, mm -hmm. the fact that the characters are like still engaging. Yeah. Even sometimes the background like changes and yeah. stuff like that. Every eye catching. Like, every, important. like every yeah. everything about it makes it and feels important. Yeah. Whether even if you're not paying attention. I, sure. I would like to think that someone is kind of just sitting there like <laughs> just like looking at stuff yeah. and like just still enjoying themselves. Yeah. Which I feel like, um, how can I say, that kind of contributes on how long it is. Yeah. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say is you can get you can get away with having a long scene yeah. if it's entertaining and good. Yes. You know what I mean? If there's drama behind it. Yeah. If there's nothing going on, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's, it sucks. It kind of yeah. sucks. Mm -hmm. Like we were having... Um, uh, can we just jump into it? Yeah, okay. Can we okay. <laughs> Spoilers. We have to. I mean, we're at the point where it's just too much in here and I, I need to I need to really quickly preface this with the fact that like this movie, I'm frustrated about it, but it makes a lot of sense, is part one of a two-parter. Who knew they would give us an Infinity War for Spider-Man? Damn. Yeah. And, it's, and it's only his second movie. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, exactly. no, his story's important no, enough. No, we're going straight to we're, Endgame. We're, we're doing, doing it. it. We're mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man. This is my story. The go Dude, how it yeah. started. I wanted J.K. Simmons to be like, you're not on tempo! <laughs> <laughs> not my tempo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I didn't think they would say like, all right, they liked the first movie. Let's give mm -hmm. it to them again. Yeah, right. But just hers now and mm -hmm. still have it entertaining. Yeah. Usually when people, or by people, I mean just the, I don't want to say the average director. Is that rude? I don't know. I think there. this is one of those movies where you go and see it and you're just like, this is not something I I see remotely mm -hmm. often or at all. Like when I think of average director, I think yeah. of a director that is competent at what they do and they know how to do a story, mm -hmm. but they're not pulling from every part of their brain to like make something that is, that you're going to think about for a long time. I'm talking you know? about, I, I get that, but yeah. like I'm talking about more like the specific type of director where like, oh, the first one worked just fine let's just do it exactly, again yeah. type stuff. It's Which like, is what uh, I thought. I thought this was going to be just a yearly installment mm -hmm. where they're like, how, kind of like, and I hate to say it, but like the Shrek effect. Yeah. Where it's like, let's just keep making these movies but make each one look better and have like other jokes. Mm -hmm. Which I was totally fine with. It was like, you could do a lot of funny things with Spider-Man and like yep. the Spider-Verse. But no, this is like pointed. This is, this is, I, I yeah, I called it the Empire Strikes Back mm -hmm. of Spider-Man when... Infinity War was the Empire Strikes Back of the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. But, like, it really is that it's the first two acts of a three-act structure, and they... It hurts. Mm -hmm. This movie it hurts. There's a lot of funny, fun stuff in it. Yeah. But this one, like, you leave with, like, a like no air in your yeah. lungs. Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't start off in, in in a humorous way either. No, yeah. It's literally an artist just going, just ham on her, on her yeah. art. Right? It's like the beginning of Up. Like, it felt like. It's yeah. Like the, there's an entire eight-minute, like, full story in there. Yes. Yeah. Super bleak. Mm -hmm. It's... Er, I guess it depends, but like I felt like it was bleak. Trying yeah, to like, yeah. uh, like, like, man, I, I, I miss someone who was important in my life. I feel yeah. like I don't, I don't really fit in, even though I'm in a group setting. Yeah, I, I don't like where I'm at. Like yeah. that, that type of feeling, that blue feeling, mm -hmm. and like, how can I say this? It's, it's, it's jarring to have like, I guess, a kids movie sure. start like that. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where like, there's immediately tone and passion being thrown, mm -hmm. and like she's trying to explain it's like, yeah, Spider Man. Sorry, it's right. A woman. Here's sure, like yeah. our stories. Here's everything. Mm -hmm. Kind of just rehashing it. Yeah. Um, the completely different art style with her. Beautiful. Was beautiful. So the good. pastels. The 
dripping down, kind of like our background. Yeah, a little bit. Look at this. Look at this set. We're basically in Gwen's universe. Yeah. Imagine that, but water, like water, but wetter. Yeah. (laughs) But no, it was. um, How gotta say. Trying to rehash the, um, I guess the, yeah, just the spider, just a spider yeah. story. But, and uh, God, we we can't go mm-hmm. into all the symbolism now because yeah. I will not stop talking. But explicitly, they do an incredible job of showing that, like, if we're talking about Lord and Miller, like breaking mm-hmm. down and critiquing, doing a meta commentary, yes. and like we know the spider the Spider Man formula, we've seen it three times, yes, like in like live action, mm-hmm. but primarily they show that like. The idea of Spider-Man is this long-suffering person who is always sacrificing themselves for the greater good, and they're kind of this martyr. And we see it literally like they're Mm -hmm. always sacrificing themselves. But this movie makes it very abundantly clear Mm -hmm. that not only is that hard, but the loneliness that you get and like isolation of having to deal with all of this is crippling. Mm -hmm. And for her to like show that we already kind of know her story. But for them to show it, not only like the up, you know, a quick thing, but to show that like once you're isolated and you have all of this terrible things happening with you and you feel like there's no way out, another group can come in and try to show you some belonging and they might not always have your best interests at heart. Yeah. Yeah. And almost in a way, it's not up to you to find out just yet. It's up to the groups to find yeah. out like whether you've made the right decision or not. Exactly. And yeah. um, it, it, it carries over through this story. Mm-hmm. I want to say that this beginning with Gwen, yeah. it kind of felt like a prequel in a way. Yeah. And this one, they explain like what was like her uh, Uncle Ben moment. Yep. Uh, in full detail, yeah. another Peter was very important to her. Mm-hmm. Uh, he felt like he didn't fit in. He had yeah. possibly, more than likely, the same feelings that she did. Yep. The only thing is he just couldn't see that they shared that. Yeah. Um, no, and he goes like, "All right, you know what? You know what helps me? The lizard brain. Lizard brain <laughs> helps me." And yeah. like, worst comes to worst, she had to do what she had to do and take care of a lizard who ends up being yeah. Peter. But especially like understanding the difference between being like if you're being bullied like retaliating with more mm-hmm. bullying, trying to kill the bully like yeah. he did. When Gwen was just like, yeah, you kind of need to not only rise above it, but like give, the bully pushes Peter mm-hmm. and then Gwen just gets up in his face. He's like, leave him alone. Like, yeah, yeah, that's basically the only thing that you could do at that point. Besides actually having a system that punishes that person. Yeah. We need to make sure that these things don't go unnoticed. Maybe a, yeah, but, a trustworthy system would work. Yeah. yeah. But to go above and beyond and create like a very hostile environment in which other mm-hmm. people can get hurt. And then Peter ends up because of that, yeah. uh, wanting to be stopped. And Gwen doesn't realize that this big Komodo dragon is her friend. Exactly. And like smashes his skull. Yes. And then she's just, he's just like, I just wanted to be special like you. It's like, oh, oh, oh my heart. How could like, you do this? And like, how, how did you know? How yeah. did you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Like I wanted the, I wanted the, I, I felt like it's like I always knew Gwen, like that yeah. that type of moment. Mm-hmm. But like. It, it was there. It was you didn't need to say that, but we got it. We yeah. got it. It does suck that you goomba stomp your friend, <laughs> and, and then and then your dad walks in with a gun and yeah. says, "Hey, get Hands away up. from that guy!" Yeah. <laughs> and that brings up the fact that like every single Spider-Man has mm-hmm. their own origin, and this movie plays a lot into that mm-hmm. of how much like there are these threads of like what people consider to be development. It's just like, well, every Spider-Man has to do these things. Yeah. And especially that like Gwen, uh, like Gwen from the beginning, we can tell that she has like a deep, dark secret that she's just like, well, I don't really want to talk about it or like, oh no, it's fine. You're fine. Oh, we can't tell Miles about this or that. Mm -hmm. But especially that we see that she has consigned herself to be like, well, here's a group. Here's a group of people that have all undergone some sort of initiative, you know, mm-hmm. initiation. And because of after they do the initiation, they get to become part of this cool Spider-Man group. Mm-hmm. I want to be part of this cool Spider-Man group. Uh, Peter no, B. No, Parker. No, 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 mm-hmm. so, no. You, you have to sacrifice. Nope. You, have you, to, got, you have to. Your yeah. fucking dad has yeah. to die in front of you. And Sorry. She, the entire movie is like in her head just being like, I, I got to do that. That has to happen to me. Yeah. And it, she's consigning herself to it. And then, I mean, yeah, spoilers. But it's because, she, it, her yeah. group is like, hey, these are the rules. Yeah. Of Spider-Man. These exactly. are the rules of yes. Spider-Man. He doesn't want to follow the rules. Yeah. But like, bro, he's doing a lot of good shit. Yeah. <laughs> though. He's like, starting to make on. some sense. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So we see that uh, by the end, we're, we're shown, and we're not skipping to the end, but mm-hmm. we're shown that like, you don't always need to default to what people say because there is an alternate way. Yeah, yes. a, a police captain might die, but it doesn't mean it has to be your father. Or exactly. it doesn't mean it has to, it doesn't mean it even has to happen. Like there are alternates that we can, okay. 
I got. I gotta. I gotta just mention this in there. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. <sighs> Spider Punk. Amazing, amazing character. I think that was Daniel Kaluuya that did that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the main character from Nope, one of the main characters, um, I mean actors. Uh, I love him so much, and he does an incredibly good job. But there's one joke he mentions yeah. that killed me. Mm -hmm. Where early on, like we see this big rift showing up, and we think that it's the bad guy, one of the bad mm -hmm. guys. But then he's just like, "That's a metaphor for capitalism." That's a metaphor yeah. for capitalism, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, "Oh, <laughs> you taking the piss?" And in the back of my head, I'm like, "That's going to come back up." Yep. And the fact that the entire movie is a metaphor for institutions we rely on, mm -hmm. but don't question. So yeah. the fact that there is, yeah, this spider society and all of them have to go through these terrible traumatic events mm -hmm. for them to belong. But instead of being like, literally, okay, here's a group of people. They're all going through a terrible thing. But yeah. instead of saying like, okay, cool, we'll let them go through the trauma, but then they'll be part of the group. Instead of saying, well, let's stop the trauma, make sure it yeah. doesn't happen, and then deal with the consequences of that. Because in this, if they don't go through their canon event, which is a fucking literary term that yeah. has to do with like, this has to happen. This yeah. is part of this universe. And is a weird like little dig at like, fanboys because like every fanboy will be like that's not canon like, yeah. yeah and then just be like well this isn't a real story about mm -hmm. the like spider-man story but when you let that go you can tell a different story you can yeah. move on you can do so, so many other things yeah and so by him saying like no we don't need to let these people die mm -hmm. and then everybody else just being like no well then these big rifts will happen and it's like well why don't we deal with the big fucking rifts yeah instead of paying for fucking therapy clearly for you have because like um uh, and the therapist um, is a piece of shit yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> don't tell me you <laughs> saw your uncle dad yeah. and he's like oh, bro like, come on hilarious no but like uh, going back on what you were saying they clearly showed that like yeah we can fix a rift yeah. we, we come in with a spider smartest spider-man and they're like they do the thing and like they fix it up and mm -hmm. whatnot uh but i, I, I want to rewind a little bit before we um we, we get into yeah. that but that's like the big metaphor no, at the core of this it that i just needed is. to talk about because i'm like this entire thing is mm -hmm. about building a society but not considering what that society does to certain people exactly yeah. and i think what's like genuinely evil about it is yeah. that one Spider-Man expects all the spiders mm -hmm. to, to 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 comply to yeah. just be like, oh, as long as it's not me, sure. Yeah, like that type of like mentality is clearly dangerous. Yeah, and like you can see what it what it can do yep. under like the wrong the wrong hands. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. um, the uh, the fact that like uh, okay okay this is what I want to do. I want to go back a little bit. Let's do um, it. Yeah. Just a little bit. Um, we go through Gwen's uh, her whole story about exactly. like how um, her like. Her, uh, what was it? Her Uncle Ben had to pass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we get the title. And th yeah. this entire event, that, yeah, it happens. Yeah. And like, we have a spider crawling around. says Paramount Pictures. It's like, yeah, it's what? Like, oh, shut God up. God damn. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Right now? And yeah. It was a nice transition to go into Miles verse, yes, in which explains uh, we get to introduce uh, our new villain of mm -hmm. our villain of the week gets introduced which, there. I, I I don't know I haven't checked the credits, but I swear that was Edward Norton's voice, and he's like a big actor, so I was like, wow, I can't believe they got Edward Norton to play a bit part. And then yeah. as it went on, I'm like, oh no, yeah, oh no, <laughs> that ain't a bit part. Let me see, where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he's the the spot. The spot. I'm trying to. I'm. Try is it the spot or is it called um? Somebody called him Cowman. I yeah, saw so it somewhere. He said, yeah, the joke was that Miles said he's like, "Are you a Dalmatian or a cow?" Because he's got the spots ah. on him. And then later on, Gwen calls him Cowman. You should move. And he's like, "I've heard better." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So we we get introduced our villain of the week. Yeah. Uh, he's clearly just brand new at it and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, Miles is also late to yeah. show up to uh, what what is that process called? I, I've never been in it. What, you, oh, where you're like talking about like we're like what college you're trying to go to, trying to make up yeah. a whole story. Like a parent teacher conference or a guidance counselor session yeah, or something. So, something yeah. in which like, dude, honestly, Spider Man don't have time for algebra. Yeah. Okay. Like mm -hmm. algebra, take a break. You know what I mean, <laughs> dude? So so we get introduce our character. Mm -hmm. Uh in the trailers, I, yeah. I was on the boat as well where yeah. I didn't think Cowman was gonna be yeah, he's just like a yeah. He keeps calling him a villain of the week, yes. which is like a double-sided slight at him or like a joke at him because villain of the week, as in like, oh cool, well the, each week you'll be scrubbed away, nobody's gonna remember you. But also like the word weak, w e a k, yeah. like you're just a weakling little guy. Exactly. So he's just like you, <laughs> you hit me with a bagel in the last movie yeah. and then turned me into a big spot man because mm -hmm. of the rest of the. Uh, I got sucked into the collider at the yep. end, and now you're my arch nemesis because he like. 
that's a big thing also in the Spider-Man universe is how many villains are created as well as most superheroes are created because something happened and because now they're just like, I can't do anything. I can't go to work anymore. I now have to do crime. I've noticed the thing about these villains is that villain tries to do something mm -hmm. that thinks that villain tries to do something that they think is for the greater good. Yes. Um, actual person that does something for the greater good does it yeah. but it messes with the villain mm -hmm. the villain doesn't understand that what they were doing wasn't exactly good yeah but decides to put the blame on whoever exactly. it doesn't matter yeah it, 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 it's not but it's not the villain's fault yeah it, it, it's it, it, i don't want to say that it's, it's it's all the same with these with these villains sure sure it's like always blaming it on the superhero and whatnot yeah. But like for this one, especially because like this villain, uh, I want to say it felt like Spider-Man, but on the more, um, I want to say just on the inclusive side, uh -huh. like he's always quippy, but he's quippy about science. Yeah, and He's yeah, like, yeah. oh, this is why I like science. I can just put a, a toaster and then I have a nuclear generator. What? And like, like <laughs> stuff like that. It's like, what yeah. are you doing, dude? Mm -hmm. Like just rambling about his own like interest and whatnot. And the spot as a villain is so incredible because this movie breaks down all of Spider-Man. Yes. There's like, Spider-Man has to go through these terrible things. All these things have to happen. But especially like, Spider-Man's whole thing is that he's a quippy little like mm -hmm. unserious dude. And weirdly enough, that seems to be a big part of like why the spot gets worse and worse. He's yes. just like, he's literally like, I need money to live, dude. Like, that's all I'm doing. I'm robbing an ATM that's owned by the bank. It's not owned by the shop. Key. Yes. It doesn't matter. And then like, Miles comes in and just starts like ripping into him. And mm -hmm. he's just like, I'll fucking show you. God, yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. That like, this dude has a horrible life. Like, this is fucked. And so instead of like trying to rehabilitate, re rehabilitate him, like mm -hmm. the entire point of the fucking movie, like we don't need to let these systems keep happening. Yeah. We have him being like, no, I'm going to become exactly what you want me to be, yeah. which is your your nemesis. You keep saying I can't be, I'll fucking do it. They, Instead of saying like, oh, you can get better. Oh, you say I can? Well, maybe I can. They did you know? a better version of Electro. In, yes. um, in, uh I forgot which one was it. The, that was uh, uh, the Andrew Garfield. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, yeah, they did a way better, better version which, than that. Hot take. Mm -hmm. I really like that movie, actually. That's, that's fine. The music I, on it was I great. I think Jamie Foxx's Electro was really fun to watch. I would he watch is. just those clips together. Yeah, really no, fun. he is. Mm -hmm. um, also, the whole like villain of the week thing goes back to like other universes. Yeah. So no matter what universe fucking Spot Man goes to, mm -hmm. he's gonna get called the yeah the villain of the week. Yeah, you're just a little little weakling boy. It's okay. So that's which, all, yeah. yeah, which he does. He goes like hopping in every single mm -hmm. like universe. They treat him like nothing, and yeah. he's like getting pretty strong speaking of villain of the week can we say that like da vinci whatever da vinci vulture oh, yeah, is yeah, awesome vulture. That, was, <laughs> that was so dope a good dude. intro like fight scene because mm -hmm. not only you get these cool like moments of like the different like art styles clashing yeah as well as it's the vulture vulture is kind of cool but you get these like yeah he's from the da vinci whatever he looks like a da vinci renaissance painting like mm -hmm. uh sketch yep. and then you get these da vinci themed flying weapons yes. that like have the like cone spiral helicopter yes. and he's like throwing these bombs and you're just like this is like a lot that's the thing this movie is so rich with all of this stuff mm -hmm. that that alone could have made an Oscar winning short film and, and but they just threw it in at the beginning you know a, a lot of uh, attention to detail yeah I, so much attention to detail like mm -hmm. going back on him every time like a, a thing would prop like for mm -hmm. example like a thing would prop instead of like boom bam or like ka -ching, yeah. it would be like uh it would be like math notes and whatnot yeah. like and mm -hmm. like angles and whatnot mm -hmm. that would actually like pop in it's it's yeah. it's really nice and also yeah. like it goes with just recognition mm -hmm. it's like oh i wonder who's stick i wonder who's from not from this universe yes <laughs> like and tip i mean to call back to a video that we made a little while ago mm -hmm. uh, about the Everything ever all at once. Yep. That like these are all now multiverse movies. Multiverse has become the big thing. Yep. And that everything that we we think about, whenever we think about multiverses, they always have to say something about something different. Which I like. That like everything ever all at once was more about your decisions and your like regrets of the past mm. and trying to live a life that you didn't you don't live in. Like you're you're trying to escape the life you do have. And then uh, multiverse of madness. Who could give a shit? Like I'm gonna yeah. be honest. I don't remember that movie that much. But like. Both of those movies have such just juxtaposition that Multiverse of Madness, they go to like three multiverses and yeah. they kind of show that there's one's made of paint and one's made of puzzle pieces and that's yeah. about it. But this and everything ever all at once have are grounded in such a way to show you that like, let's use the multiverses. Let's use the fact that this is a multiverse. Mm -hmm. 
Every other universe can use different types of visual language or math. So yeah, let's have Da Vinci's angles yep. coming up. We see other characters that are from other multiverses that just use a different like, their their artistic style is indicative of their powers. Yes. And they play, like I said, they play so easily hand in hand that they mm -hmm. look like simple and easy to accomplish, but they took a lot of time to do. Exactly. Yeah. And I think what emphasizes that even more is that depending on which universe, yeah. you might have different types of power. Yeah. Like for example, the Da Vinci one had hammer space mm -hmm. while the other spider those Spider-Mans don't mm -hmm. like yeah. they didn't have that power. It's like imagine trying to face something like that. Yeah. I was like, oh, he could just bring anything unpredictable. I, I weirdly love the little footnotes they had at the movie. Yes. Where yeah, they pull mm -hmm. out. It's just like we can't explain this now. My favorite one was when uh Scooby Cyberpunk, Doo. yes, Cyberspunk's like uh, Scooby Doo, and it's uh Cockney rhyming slang for don't have a clue. It's yeah. Great. Love it. It's awesome. No, mm -hmm. it, nice little explanations like that. It, it always great. goes a long way. But it's like that's how dense and full of uh, just incredible uh, effort that this mm -hmm. is, that every single thing has an explanation that makes sense and all of the setups have incredible payoffs and some are probably going to have payoffs to more because yeah. I think we mentioned it. This is part one of two goddamn movies. Yep. Yeah. And, and going back on the whole universes thing, yeah. uh, I think what solidifies it is that they tell yeah. you that like, hey, these universes exist yes. and they also show you how they work. Yeah. Uh, unlike in uh, Multiverse of Madness, mm -hmm. the, the one shot that I always go to is when like they're going through five portals at once and you yep. see like paint him, whatever yep. him, whatever him. is like they show, oh, cool graphic, but yeah. like, do those universes function in that in that weird way? Do they yeah. do that? No. And this one, Spot Man, he's like, oh, look at all these holes. All my holes mm. here. Where did they take me? <laughs> yeah. And he goes through one and he lives like a fraction of like that universe where he gets yeah. hit by that lady from the comics. Mm -hmm. And like you get the bow and everything. <laughs> yeah. He goes to the real world. And uh, wh which... Does he go to the actual Spider-Man universe, like uh, the? Um... Uh, so what he did was he went to the Spider-Man universe where Venom is. Yes, yeah, and that's, that's the one. And that's the lady from the first Venom movie. I recognize that, so, the color palette, the light. Well, he had an entire like <laughs> conversation with her, in which is just like, "Hey, have you seen Venom?" And then he takes a mm -hmm. piece of gum and says, "Venom, Venom mint, or yeah. something like that." It's, Cool, thanks, Sony. Great. Yeah, I'm we glad. got it. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, especially the fact that, like, I, I swear, I swear to God. I feel like the last movie, the way that this progression is going, mm -hmm. the three act structure, is that the first movie is the origin story, but then literally it ends with them slapping down, this is Miles, done Miles' mm -hmm. origin story. Now we're seeing how people act as Spider-Man and showing the playbook. You have to do this. If you're Spider-Man, you have to do this. Yeah. When Miles is like, no, I don't have to do that and why would I? And you all suck. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like the third movie is gonna show, okay, I put my money where my mouth is. I'm not gonna be your Spider-Man. What does my Spider-Man look like? And my theory, mm -hmm. because we're talking about Spotman right now, is that I feel like Spotman man's powers look, and they mention they're like, oh, that looks like the canon break. You know, mm -hmm. the when something's non-canon happens, it makes this rift. That I feel like what's going to happen at the end is that they're finally going to talk no jutsu. They're going to have their heart to heart, and that Spotman's going to be like, oh, I can help by like fixing these rifts. Mm -hmm. I can use my powers for good, and we can all work together. But getting there is going to be fucking hard. Yeah because this movie is apocalyptic mm -hmm. in how depressing some of the shit yeah. in there is. It, it feels like they grabbed the note from uh, Everything Everywhere at once, yeah. where you have a character who- He's he, a bagel. Yeah. He got hit by a bagel, Everything he, Everywhere all at once. Got, There's a hole, yep. He got hit by that bagel, he ate it, he munched on it. Mm -hmm. he, saw, he saw a beautiful movie and mm -hmm. he said, I'm a dude that yeah. it's like you're not supposed to relate to the bad yeah. guy. Call me Joe Butapaki because I'm yeah. gonna hit some people with dildos. Like. I'm about to fuck shit up <laughs> and like and, and like just decide. How gotta say this again? Just in a way, Spotman wrote himself. Yeah, where he was like, "You did this. You made me into this." Like, bro, if you just chill out, like mm -hmm. we've been trying to get you to chill out, we yeah. can. It's like, no, I'm gonna I'm hit the switch. So they go, mm -hmm. but before he hits that switch, where does he go? Where so does it go? They he solved goes to the Lego whole... Spider-Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Lego Spider-Man. We will talk to him. Yeah. He that it starts with him, dude. I think he's, he's... going to be the the very end. He's going to have the linchpin. He's going to solve everyone's he's problems. He's the one that ratted Spot Man out, and he was like, like "Hey, God there's damn. something up going on." It's yeah. like a huge head just popped in out of nowhere, <laughs> yeah. bro. And then Miguel O'Hara is like, "You're one of the good ones. Thank You're you, Lego Spider-Man. Thank you so much." <laughs> yeah. So Spot Man. So. It, villain of the week gets introduced. Miles Morales uh, shows up to his thing. He says, mm -hmm. "Hey, 
I, it's fucked up that we have to make up a story for me to get accepted to college. Yeah. But sure, mm -hmm. whatever. It's the system we're in. I exactly. have to play in yeah. it. Ugh. And the ladies like recounting their story back to them when they're like, "That's not how this works." That's, that's definitely we, not. That's not us. us. We literally have a high rise in New York. We're that's, not like b poorly off. You're like, you're, it's you're, fine. you're borderline stereotyping yeah. us. It's what just, are you oh, doing? Immigrant yeah. is like Puerto Rico is part of America. Like, yeah, what it's like what? Mm -hmm. in, 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 in this entire situation. For him, yeah. just it's like you guys are talking about my life. Yeah. Like mom, dad, this is why I want to do this. Yeah. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. Let me <laughs> spread them wings. Yeah. Please. <laughs> so, anything. I love that they've gotten to the point over the year that he's been Spider-Man mm -hmm. that his dad, like, they've had some talks as Spider-Man where he's just like, How's your son? <laughs> like, yeah. They already they know each other enough that he's just like kind you of confided in him. Yeah. Sometimes I swear you sound like my son. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. God. But then yeah, we see the age old Spider-Man mm -hmm. thing. The formula for Spider-Man is I don't have time. I don't have enough time to save people. I don't mm -hmm. have enough time to for my personal life. And then usually they end up sacrificing their personal life for the greater good. Learned so, it from you, Dad. Yeah. And so he like gets this cake where he's just like, please write all of this super long apology to the point where he needs two cakes. Yep. And then he shows up and it's so scrambled to like as a perfect description mm -hmm. of like the problem with Spider-Man that it says, I'm not proud of you on it. Because yeah. like that's Spider-Man's thing. He has so much to do that when he does show up for his family, they think he doesn't care. He, he tries so hard. Yeah. Like he legit tries so hard. Yeah. But like life, the Spider-Man life is gonna yeah. get in your way. Mm -hmm. Shit, even the Miles Morales life is gonna get in your way. Yeah. Like no yeah. matter what, I think like the big message for for him mm -hmm. is that what they're trying to teach him is to let go. Yeah, is to just let go. Mm -hmm. Like stop trying for a little bit. Just yeah. let go for a little bit. But letting go always ends up costing him. Yeah, and I think that's like that's ultimately like what makes. I want to. I don't want to say that this. This is what makes this Miles Morales like interesting and mm -hmm. a par, a, a like different from the other Spider Mans. Yeah. We're like, yeah, he gets it. Like, I get. Yeah. There's a Spider Man script. Mm -hmm. I don't want to follow it. Yeah. I feel like I could do something. Yeah. Which like I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to move us along to um. Oh, what was that name of that universe? I, I forgot. The what Manhattan mixed oh, with yeah, uh, a Mumbatten, the Mumbatten. Indian one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was dude. really good. So. so yeah. All this, yeah. they takes us there. She mm -hmm. says, "Oh, I messed up with Spot Man." Mm -hmm. Apparently, she had a mission yeah. to like. Gwen goes to like Miles Morales universe to like, hey, just wanted to see you. Mm -hmm. Like my past story that we had before, like uh, Paramount showed up, was about <laughs> me trying to like figure myself out and like wanted to get back to see you again. I found yeah. a new way. Yeah, I started to lie to you about it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I have a bigger mission with Spot Man. Mm -hmm. Spot Man gets away. He kicks his own ass into a hole. <laughs> That's so good. Which is like, mm, God. great. Yep. A villain that doesn't know that their powers yet yep. messes themselves up. Yeah. Spider-Man does it that to himself all the stinking time. It's good mm -hmm. to see a villain do that. Yeah. Um, but no, we uh, enter this beautiful world because uh, Gwen messes up yeah. and Spotman just happens to be there. He's collecting mm -hmm. pieces of uh, the giant reactor from the first movie, I yeah, think. Yeah, or he's he's creating other, re like he's turning on other reactors yes. so that he can suck in their like power. Yes. So that he can keep jumping and just like do leveling all this. up. That's yes. all he's doing. 100%. It's like, I'm not your joke. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, the, I'm not the villain of the week. Yeah. Uh, we get introduced to, uh, what a cool fucking Spider-Man design. Yes. Like, oh. like I don't know what that toy so is called, good. but to use it and like yeah. make it part of the weapon oh. is so stinking oh, cool. So good, and it's it's also I mean mm -hmm. nobody that's going to see all three of these movies is going to come out of it not knowing the Spider Man tropes because yeah. like they're remarked upon, but especially that he starts off with like my life's great, I do this, this, and this, yep. and we're all like. That oh no yeah Some, something's gonna happen mm -hmm. and so this movie like turns that on its head because that moment becomes a plot point yeah but uh, or the fact that it doesn't happen but like when we show up this dude is just like vibing and dude he, he it's calls so, oh borderline yeah. insulting these two yes. depressed Spider Mans yeah. and he's like being Spider Man is easy he's yeah like, what what? Talking about? I just I make time for everything mm -hmm. I can I can do both I have chai yes. with my granny yeah and <laughs> I love he's like I love chai tea. That is a thing I've been talking about. You 
you've heard me talk about it, that I hate when people say chai tea because it means tea tea. If you're from anywhere in the Middle East, mm-hmm. you're just like, what are you talking about? And then later on, he says, it's just like, yeah, it's like saying non bread. And then this dude's like, I love non bread. I'm like, yeah, shut up. Like, you're just saying bread, bread. I'm going to have, would you, would you fault me if I had coffee, coffee with my cream cream? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. I love that. So He's so charismatic good. and fun. Really oh, good Spider Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, uh, borderline too good. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, he has a script to go through, I guess. Yeah. And, um, and there's nope. a cannon event there's happening. A, there's a cannon and Gwen event. is trying to stop Miles. He's like, hey, that's it's dangerous. You shouldn't go over there. Mm-hmm. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, we didn't know yeah. about the whole script thing. Mm-hmm. Gwen apparently knew it since day one. Yeah. Or, like, I, as soon as she's joined this organization, yeah. they probably gave her, hey, here's the Spider Man pamphlet. Yeah. Read it. Here's the, the book of the dead. Well, that and the fucked up thing is that that the Indian Spider-Man is apparently part of the group. Like mm-hmm. he had the warp thing on it. So they just didn't tell him. Like I think they were like, oh, he's close enough to his canon event. We're just not going to fucking Yo, tell him. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. And then I think like Spider-Punk was also just like in there being like, yeah, fuck this. Like this sucks. And like him showing yeah. up seems like he's outshining Miles, but he's just like, no, I've seen this. It fucking mm-hmm. sucks. You're the guy that's going to take it down. I can't do it. You need to fucking do it. So, yeah. hey, this is how you break through barriers. Hey, here's a fucking teleportation device. I'm not going to fucking do it because I don't, I'm, I'm not a... Uh, I don't have that kind of mindset. I know you do. Let's fucking do it. So yeah. it's, oh my God. They introduced so Spider Punk in this one as well. <laughs> so good. In this universe, and it's such a great universe. They introduced mm-hmm. all, all these awesome Spider Mans. Yeah. Uh, Spider Punk. I, this is just, I knew Spider Punk was going to be in this. Sure, yes. Yeah, uh, piece of his, pieces of clothing, like in Hot Topic, were already sold of him. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, Spider Punk is going to be in this. I yeah. felt like he was going to be like a Deadpool character in which he yeah. was just going to be annoying as yeah. shit. But no, Mm-mm. incredibly important character. Yep. In stupidly important character. Yeah. Seriously, mm-hmm. like he teaches Miles like, hey, you hear about this script going around? <laughs> yeah, fucking anarchy. Let's get this shit out of here. I'm it done. It kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, yeah, think, he's like, uh, in the beginning, I'm like, this dude's fucking obnoxious. And the more mm-hmm. it goes on, I'm like, I fucking love this guy. He's, he's kind of right. Yeah. Oh. And especially, we're talking about the animation style. He's mm-hmm. just all fucking clips from fucking magazines and like blast. It really looks doesn't so cool. stick in. He, mm-hmm. he does not fit in the scene. And, and there are moments where like some... I keep just talking about how incredible they did everything, mm-hmm. but the fact that his character, his design looks 2D like it's out of a magazine, but every fucking character is 2D. So I was like piecing together. I'm like, well, what did they do to the shading of the mm-hmm. character to make him stand out as 2D while the other ones aren't 2D? Yeah. But there are other characters that are 2D, but they kind of do or don't look like it. It was the kind of thing where I'm just like, this is so incredibly well done that I can't help but think about how they achieved some of these things and, like, and this and, and he looks so good this this Ridiculous. entire thing that has been described goes back to the whole thing that like mm-hmm. how do you how do you put all these ideas in one thing yeah this is where like yeah AI i cannot do this type yep. of stuff yeah and uh no it's it's it's, it's borderline beautiful yeah. every character sticks out in yeah. a little way but then we see miles's like main mission where he shows up and he's just like hey you you could need you deserve a yeah. hand dude's trying to save his girlfriend and his dad at the same time I wish dad. somebody would have helped me. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, cool, I'm going to go help. I'll Thread do the it. needle. It's super quick. I know how to do it. Why wouldn't I help someone in need? Mm-hmm. And we see the dichotomy between the two, the, basically the bad guys and the good guys. Like, they're like anti-heroes, the Spider-Man yeah. group. But we see that their whole thing is like independence. Oh, you? You go on that mission. You go do this thing. Mm-hmm. Hook up with the Spider-Man, but you're not going to help each other. When the entire point of Miles is he's like... Let's all work together. Let's yeah. all hang out. We all need to work together. And when we left the theater, we were talking about the fact that, like, that's the main difference is that when in that teaser trailer, like, image that you see all the spider people running after him, they probably could have caught him if they worked together. But they're not trained to do that. They're like, yeah. you each go do the thing where you're not allowed to have attachments because you're all supposed to be lonely because this yeah. is the formula. Well, Maz is like, hey, let's all be friends. He learned that in the first fucking movie. Yeah. That was the, the last thing he does to Fisk at the end of the movie is like Gwen punches him spider-man punches him and then fucking miles punches mm-hmm. him and it f- defeats the bad guy yeah and it's like this is the thing you they, learn we they, they all go by such a script they all have something they all have the same thing in common yet yeah. like one entity is like don't do that yeah none of that it doesn't matter i don't care how much y'all vibe i don't mm-hmm. no, no, no 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 you're a lone wolf you need to deal with it you're not allowed to have any friends exactly and then once they finally are all like hey we've all been through the same exactly. fucking thing. We should all talk and we should all work through it together. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, no, no. 
fuck you. And when Miles goes out of his way to stop another human being going through the same traumatic thing that yeah. he did, they're like, what are you doing? This motherfucker needs to learn. Yeah. It's like, no, he doesn't. We don't all need to be, which, like, have a terrible wound inside of us, you know? Which, like, it's it kind of like, when that scene was happening, this yeah. is after, um, this is before the big uh, Spider-Man chase. This is yes. after what happens in... Um, in uh, uh after the black hole incident yes. that happened there uh they fixed that up mm -hmm. this is uh potentially we don't even know potentially like the yeah, indian spider-man is just like is everything going to be okay and in the back of my head i'm like i fucking hope so i don't even know jesus christ i mean if every spider-man is now hunting one i'm guessing that whole thing must be fixed I but like so. so so all this is happening mm -hmm. spider-man goes against the script the director doesn't like that yeah. the director says hey Mm -hmm. Just listen to this. Listen yeah. to what I'm telling you. All yeah, the other the fucking Spider vampire. Yeah, yeah. All, like all these other Spider Mans. Like it was. It reminisced to uh, the first movie in which mm -hmm. they were all like beating him. Is like mm -hmm. you have to get up. Mm -hmm. You have to get up. This is your thing. Yeah. I thought all of them were just gonna jump him. Which mm -hmm. I mean, it was kind of a premonition. Yeah. We were trying to get to him. Yeah. But no, like he was trying to tell us, like, hey, this is the script. Stick by it. yada yada yada. Yeah. The the the. I want to say the audacity. Mm -hmm. that Gwen uh, Peter Parker shows up, uh, yeah. or Peter B. Parker, yep. mm -hmm. uh, he shows up. The B up. stands for baby, because now he has a baby. It, it's a frame forged cannon that <laughs> B stands for baby, damn yes. it. He even has the mask and everything. It's so perfect. Cute. No, so like they all show up, and they're all like, yeah, the script, this, this entire script, mm -hmm. they lock them up for it. Yeah. I want to know, mm -hmm. what about um, the Spider-Man whose script went like messed up? Because like mm -hmm. so, going back, uh, um, what was Future Spider Man? Um, uh, Miguel O'Hara. Miguel, yeah. right? He was like, I went against the script. Yeah, yeah. I went to a universe in which I died, and I pretend to be me from that universe. Everything's fucking Rick and Morty now. With, That's like deliberately the core of. But Rick I feel and Morty. like this is so much better than it just oh, like yeah. than just like some heartless person being heartless for the heartless sake. Yeah, yeah. When in this one's like, I try to do the right thing. Yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to do the right thing. Yeah. But what about him? Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, like he went and gets his script or whatever. Yeah, is his? Did Miles Morales like destroy his universe? I don't think no. so. Because he, compared to what Miguel did, yeah. which was to replace yeah. and like to do that and mm -hmm. like to live on, yeah. all that glitchiness was all him. Mm -hmm. he, I, I, those are two different scenarios for me. Exactly. And that's the main thing is mm -hmm. that Miguel went out of his way to be like, I'm unhappy. I'm going to do yes. something about it. And me, the thing I'm going to do about it will destroy another universe. Like mm -hmm. he went, he like in uh, the Multiverse of Madness where like yes. Doctor Strange destroys the entire universe because he thinks it's the good thing to do. Miles is just a product of other people's bullshit. Yeah. They brought in the spider. It bit him. It wasn't his fucking fault. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, if you didn't get hit bit by that spider, that would have had a different Spider-Man. You would have been leaving living a completely different life. I was doing graffiti with my uncle, dude. Yeah, I was minding my own fucking Yeah, what business. are you talking about, bro? Yeah, I cleaned up your fucking mess, and now you're making that my fault? Yeah, yeah. spot man, summon the spider, okay? I, yeah. I, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, and especially that he keeps saying, like they keep saying, it's just like, well, we would have had a better, or Spider-Man or whatever, like you're, you're an anomaly, and an anomaly is a bad thing. It's just like, so what the fuck happened to the other anomalies, huh? What it's, is this about, huh? It's almost as if someone who is miserable enough mm -hmm. yet powerful enough yeah. wants to share their misery <laughs> with everyone else yeah. and make their lives hell and whatnot because it mm -hmm. didn't feel fair to them yep it's like oh we have two villains in this movie. <laughs> it's like, well, who would have thought? And especially the in the very end where we see they're like trying to hunt down Miles. Mm -hmm. We see the three people that go after him are the Spider Woman who's pregnant. Yes. And uh, Miguel O'Hara and fucking Bill O'Reilly. Mm -hmm. The Bill O'Reilly is that Bill his fucking is something O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly's the fucking. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but yeah, something O'Reilly that he's just like the the long suffering Spider Man. Like, I was thinking of my dark and tragic <laughs> past, and that like each of them are total pieces of shit that are all just like miserable unto yeah. themselves in their own ways, mm -hmm. and that there might be a twin, there might be a glimmer of uh, of goodness in the Spider Woman because like. Fucking Gwen is just going off, just like, why are you being so shitty? What is all this yeah. bullshit? And he, she's, she's that's the mentor, but the mm -hmm. mentor is still instilling the badness in her. Yes. She's letting like the poison drip through and being like, well, I learned this bad shit, so you have to learn this bad shit. And it's and, like, 
that's, and that's not what a good mentor does. And that and that's the uh, and that goes with the whole like two mentors that we have in this movie. Yeah. Uh, one of them clearly they both know what's right. Yeah. But one of them wants to stick to the script because mm -hmm. they feel like as everyone should. Yeah. Although like you're absolutely right. I feel like all Spider Mans are like have that glint in their eyes. Like we could still do good. Yeah. We could still mm -hmm. do good. Mm -hmm. And there's the uh, Peter B. Parker, yeah. the other mentor is like, hey, I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I think you should do your own thing too, yeah. dude. I really do. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm screwing everything up again, like <laughs> yeah. I think you should do as well. Mm -hmm. I I like that dynamic. Same. You yeah. know? And, but the fact that they models. the fact that they're still like in one team though yeah. is really like dramatic and whatnot. And I, I just because I remember it, I have to mention mm -hmm. the fact that as soon as they get into the Spider Man headquarters, it's like, has anybody seen the spot? Every single Spider Man makes a joke. Yeah. It's just like there we are. And that's what it's, it pisses me off is how much I'm just like, they're all the same fucking person. Yeah. Why aren't they all just friends all the yeah. time? Like, it's a, it's annoying to me that like, yeah, the fucking Miles shows up and he's like, why can't I be part of this like small task force? Mm -hmm. And they're just like, well, you're not actually a Spider-Man. None of the stuff that happened to you was supposed to happen to you. So you can't be in our cool club. Yeah. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? It's like, like sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that you spoiled the script for me. Like yeah. I chose none of this. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm, li I'm trying to live with this. You yes. understand this? Mm -hmm. it, but it, it doesn't, it sounds like Miguel doesn't give a shit. He's just, yep. he just wants everything to be the same. Mm -hmm. The, the hypocrisy is like, you want, you want <laughs> us to be individuals yet. I I have a burger with your face on it, sir. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what, are you, what are you talking it's about like, here? This is my tower, so you all have to play by my rules. He's like, yeah. oh, your rules kind of suck. God, so, like, yeah. Miles gets... Um, he gets vanished, banished mm -hmm. to his like universe. Yep. Um, well, he's he's running away, and yeah, there's all of these different Spider-Man running after him, and like we said, because none of them can work together, they yep. all suck at it. But consistently, we see that every single one of his friends intentionally or unintentionally betrays him, mm -hmm. and he's just like, "Cool, now I realize I I can't rely on any of you, so I'm gonna fucking change the system myself." And then he gets a little he gets a little bit of help from Spider-Punk mm -hmm. because Spider-Punk shows him that you can break these you can break these barriers if you just use your whole hand instead of your little fingies. Yep. He just bursts through it, Boom. gets out of there. He and uses then, his ult. Yeah, but especially that like there are the little bits that you piece together of him like formulating the plan that yeah. he sees he's on a train going to the moon and he's just like yeah, I'll stay here. Is yeah. the, why the, what the fuck are you doing? And then you see that he's just like, cool, he has a little bit of a plan to Peter B. Barker's like, he did have a plan. Good for him. Ah, fuck. They borderline <laughs> treat him like the villain of the week. Seriously. Where like, they, they're just undermining him when yeah. like, no, he, 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 he's, he's thorough. He yeah. thinks about this type of shit. Mm -hmm. um, so... Miguel just pins him down. He's like, you're an anomaly. Yeah. Like, would they summon a spider that just bit you and like that... And and your script was different. Why yeah. was it different? Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what like how can I say that's what that's coming across to me. Yeah. I feel like me, I was like, dude, this is bullshit. Like, why do you have a different script? Why yeah. is this is not fair? Well, especially that he brings up the fact that he's like, if you didn't do this, if all this mm -hmm. stuff didn't happen, then the collider wouldn't have happened. The collider breaking up the multiverse is what's ruining all of this for everybody else. Yeah. So like the past it's like you year, would have never had this then. Yeah, the past year that that happened is not his fucking fault. Fisk not. wanted to do exactly what fucking Miguel O'Hara wanted to do. Fisk wanted to bring his family into the universe where they died, mm -hmm. and then he fucked everything up. Same thing with Miguel O'Hara. He wanted to go to the fucking family that he that left him, yeah. and then he fucking ruins everything. Exactly. So it's literally just people repeating the same problem because they can't get over mm -hmm. their own trauma. And then instead of like trying to help the next generation not deal with trauma, yeah. he's like, no, you have to. This is the whole point. They, they, or else I'll be the one left out. It's that old, it's that very old mentality of mm -hmm. like, you have to go through the same troubles and tribulations that I went yeah. for you to have what you have now. Yeah. It's like, I don't find that fair. It's like, bro, mm -hmm. just deal with it mm -hmm. like it just 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 move on yeah move on you mm -hmm. yourself told me move on from uncle ben move <laughs> yeah. on mm -hmm. you move on yeah. you know it's like let me deal with my own script mm -hmm. also if miles morales really fucked up with that script with his script yeah why 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 was he spoilers why yep. was he at the end of the movie exactly that, like, like and that's the thing that I fucking love about mm -hmm. this. Because if we're talking about systems and the entire idea that, yeah. like, yeah, this that was a metaphor for capitalism. That, like, the idea that we're born into a system that isn't equitable for everybody, that it creates problems. Mm -hmm. and instead of addressing the core of the problem and then seeing what problems, like, fall out, we're just like, no, everybody should go through the same trauma and then deal with it. That specifically... 
every single Spider-Man, yeah. when they show that like everybody's backstory and they show that Miles' backstory is right next to theirs, is the fact that they are all different. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the same backstory. Nobody has the same path or journey. So the fact that they're saying like, no, everybody needs to do this is in itself a paradox, mm -hmm. like an hypoc hypocrisy that he's just like, well, we all had this moment. He's like, you all had semi-similar yeah. things happening. You're all the Spider-Man of your universe. Stuff's going to be similar. Yeah. But it doesn't fucking mean that you all exactly. have to do this shit exactly. and like fall through these same cracks. It, and it's so, it's just so well done that like you immediately are just like, this is a bullshit system. Oh, we all kind of have our own bullshit system, don't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. It's, 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 it's how much a hammer is in, how much like, the how good is a how good is a system yeah. when that system is willing to watch or even provoke yeah. that scripted event to happen. Yeah. To you. They're willing to stop you. Mm -hmm. They're willing to middle with <laughs> your script yep. and mess with your system mm -hmm. to make their system seem like the better, bigger one that like, uh -huh. oh, this is the one you're supposed to follow. Exactly. It's like, no, bro. Mm -hmm. Let let shit let it flow, dude. Mm -hmm. this, this is the problem with all these Spider-Mans. Yep. Come on, Spider-Man. Just move on. But Have your nice. burger. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy it. Just enjoy the little blue burger. Uh, or your red burger from Whopper. From <laughs> God, it's so bad. <laughs> burger King, Jesus. So so they send them off. Yep. Gwen is told all these things. She's literally told, hey, Gwen, also, we're going to betray you. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yep. Clearly, we can't trust you, can't even though you were doing the most right thing. Mm -hmm. And like, it's against the script. We're yeah. sending you back. And she says the most key words ever. Mm -hmm. I thought we were the good guys. Yeah. Yeah. I thought mm -hmm. we were supposed to be the yep. good ones. And then, of course, Miguel O'Hara says, we are, because he thinks that he's doing the good guy thing, because mm -hmm. he's a piece of shit, doesn't understand his own dumb bullshit. And everyone in the background goes, <laughs> <laughs> they, they do the bare yeah. side eye. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are we? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, God. And then, yeah, Gwen goes on her way trying to mm -hmm. fix everything because uh, Spider-Punk left her like a little te teleporter, which is Ooh, great. True. So so, yeah. so bef before all that, yeah. Um, yeah, Morales gets chased like borderline almost to the moon. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, they banish him. Uh, Gwen has this moment in yep. which she believes that revealing herself to her yeah. dad. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was fucking like insane. That was I don't tense. think I don't think yeah. any Spider-Man movie has like done that, or I've seen. <sighs> That, I can't think of one where the only, the closest thing I can mm -hmm. remember is that in Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man shows himself to like Mary Jane. That's oh, like the, old, yeah. the closest thing I can think. Yeah, yeah. but he, he didn't live in Mary Jane's home or anything. Yeah. He was in mm -hmm. 15 at the time yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, so like having like such a heavy moment like yeah. that is like she insane. She breaks the script. Yeah. She breaks the script and like even to the point where like... That was the first script break. You're so right. Yep, no, and good. like it, it, the the emotion of her father. Her mm. world is so cool. I wish yeah. this would be her own movie. Like her art style was so awesome. Either way, oh, yeah. the 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 deconstruction with her father, like choosing his line of work over her, mm -hmm. which for not forces her. It kind of makes her choose. Like I'm going into the Spider Verse thing. Exactly. Um, he tells her like, yeah, revealing yourself to your parents isn't like the best thing. Who would have mm -hmm. thought? Yeah, don't worry, it's the worst. It's the worst decision I ever made. Exactly. Don't do it. And she tells it to Miles. Yeah. She's like, don't tell your parents. It's only going to be bad. Mm -hmm. But then we see. It, we see. Yeah, we see that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, how can I say this? It's revealed to us. Yeah. That uh, there's this big mechanism. Brrr, this robot mm -hmm. that someone on on a VR chat line is uh, <laughs> controlling yep. that uh, I guess it just grabs whatever DNA mm -hmm. uh, that your universe is from and just sends yep. you there. It's but, it's 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 it's, uh, it's well, sorry. What were you gonna say? Well, apparently, yes. it's not your DNA. It's, it's not the yeah. Spider's it's DNA. It's the spider's DNA, mm -hmm. which is like, bro. Yeah. How do you then? How do you send the villains back? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. you sent before uh, they were explaining, it was like, yeah, this machine sends them back to their dimensions. Mm -hmm. And like the guy, the rhino's going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like being said. Yeah, it's and, and it's spider like Spider-Punk spider yeah. is like, very fucking humane, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, yeah, it's like, dude. <laughs> God. What the so fuck? fucking good. It really isn't. Yeah. Yeah. And so Miles goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they um, how can I say this? They, they send him back to his world and we think mm -hmm. everything is fine. We yeah. think everything is cool mm -hmm. until this is where I noticed it. Yeah. He puts on a jacket mm -hmm. and it has the Prowler's colors. Yeah. So Got that purple. So it has mm -hmm. the, like the purple in her jacket. Mm -hmm. I... So we 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 learn mm -hmm. that literally after that he walks over and he goes like okay mom being real with you yeah 
fucking Spider-Man. And it's like tense. Like we're like waiting yeah. for like the, oh man, he's like trying to get it out. I and was confused see, by, yeah. by everything where like she goes like, what? Yeah, but we also, like, Gwen is in the window still, we mm -hmm. think, and she's, like, listening in, and in our mind, we're just like, oh, she's listening in yes. to, like, him doing it, and because she's already gone home, she's already realized that the fact that she did tell it to her dad was the best thing she did, because mm -hmm. he escaped the terrible fate awaiting him if he became captain. Yep. Because apparently if you become captain, you fucking die immediately. You have if to you die played the Spider-Man game on fucking PS5, you know that that's exactly what happens to Miles, which mm -hmm. is a cool little nod to the PS5 yep. game. Also, that his friend, yeah, you pointed out, his friend was sitting in their apartment uh, mm -hmm. in uh, college or high school, yeah. and he was playing his PS5 playing the Spider-Man game. He was also wearing mm -hmm. his sneakers. That is yeah. so disrespectful. Why are people wearing shoes on beds? Don't Bullshit. don't 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 wear your friend's sneakers <laughs> and potentially have your feet on his bed. God, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> you know what uh, I mean? Like come yeah. on, dude. But then so we see that like because Gwen told that to her mm -hmm. dad, he's just like, "I chose work over you and that's the stupidest thing I could have done. Yep. I regret what I said to you when I was going to fucking arrest you." Where I literally gonna... pointed my loaded gun yes. at you. Sorry. Like what the fuck? Yeah. And so he's like, "I'm no longer captain i'm not gonna fucking do it anymore mm -hmm. and she's like oh the cycle's broken i broke my script holy shit we can all do it and, and so i'm gonna go find miles the 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 as a, a, the symbolism in this frame where he finally like admits it yeah and like her background is like this and like watercolors mm -hmm. and like whatnot for him when he i don't know if you noticed it for him it was like deconstruction of art yeah 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 it was where like it was like circles cubism mm -hmm. lines and whatnot like as he, he's like I deconstructed the mess that I made and I'm seeing yeah. what is happening and like this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And like, oh shit. And I think mm -hmm. that she also notices like this is a breaking of the script. Yeah. This is this is all well artistically, mm -hmm. like the watercolor painting behind her was so messy and runny yes. and gross. All but then over like the place. you said, it was like all realigning to the point where the very end was just lines. Like it was mm -hmm. all white, clear. Yeah. They they clean the slate. Everything is back. Like everything is different now mm -hmm. because you don't need to stay in this fucked up situation you're in. If you're a dad and your kid's a vigilante and you're the mm -hmm. fucking police chief, maybe I don't need to be, be the police yeah. chief anymore. Seriously, yeah. put put down the badge a little bit. Yeah, put on your father yeah. pants on or mm -hmm. something. And, and anything but be work. Yeah, exactly. You know? And we see that like we didn't even touch on the fact that this movie has so much like parenting much. stuff in it. Yes, so much that it's just like we're trying to see how all of these parents are trying to be like my kid is now going on their own path and it might not be what i want but like they're still being disrespectful and shitty and i don't know how to navigate that because i want them to like me but at the mm -hmm. same fucking time they're being shitty yeah so what do we do and it's so heartbreaking the end just punches you in the gut mm -hmm. that miles did the one thing that would have that changed gwen's trajectory yep it did like put them on the right path which was telling his parents and he tries to do it. And we think that Gwen's in the window being like, yeah, Miles, go for it. Yeah. No, she's in the window of his actual apartment because he's not fucking there. Exactly. And that his effort goes completely out the window because his mom's like, who's Spider-Man? Yeah. We're, yeah. I, I was like, what? What? Yeah. In the in the first movie, you were like, oh, this is like, like yeah. she was mad at her husband because all he talked was about Spider-Man. Yep. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. she would be... Any reaction but the one that she had was like, yeah. what are you talking about? Who's mm -hmm. what? And and they match cut it so well mm -hmm. because the dad is like arriving at home that you're like, oh, he'll be home and he'll be able to like describe it. But eagle-eyed viewers. He, mm -hmm. Yeah. So so it, it's almost heartbreaking too where yeah. like Miles says, oh, dad would understand. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh. No. And especially eagle-eyed viewers will notice, yep, his purple jacket. But also they keep saying is like, oh, you took the like... You yeah. did different hair? Yeah. And it's just like the entire time I'm like, is that the same hair? Is it like slightly different? What the fuck yes. are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then you realize, oh no. Yep. Here's, here's his he fucking had, uncle. He had cornrows first. And like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, do you remove that on purpose? Yeah. Like, what? It's like, well, especially that he like glitches. And you're like, mm -hmm. oh fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, which like, that that confused me a bit. I thought it was yeah. like a hiccup. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, like a, like a, like, uh, yeah. like the glitch from, um, Wreck it Ralph or something like sure. that. It's like maybe or that like maybe something it. happened with his uh spider when they anything, transport. Who right? knows? Yeah. Anything. But nope. But uh nope, there's no Spider Man in this one. He's a little bit confused, it's like, oh dad won't understand. Yeah. And then we hear like a knock on a door, mm -hmm. and from there, boom, who walks in? Mm -hmm. But his fucking uncle, dude. Yeah. And gotta say, best cameo in the movie 
is the fact that they go to the this is way back, but they go to the um, headquarters mm-hmm. and they see one of the prowlers. It's fucking Donald Glover. Yes! Which they've been okay. They've been teasing that shit in the MCU yeah. because in the first Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland, he he sees Donald Glover and he's just like, "Hey, do you know whatever this or that around here?" And he's just like, "Hey, I have a nephew around here." And so his nephew is supposed to be Miles Morales. Mm-hmm. So we don't know if that's actually going to happen in the yeah. MCU, but they show him as the Prowler because in that universe, he's supposed to be the fucking Prowler. So yeah. it's like, damn, okay, it's kind of happening, I, maybe. I, I, I would like to see you. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of yeah. cool. But we see his uncle shows up and he's like, oh, fuck, you're mm-hmm. here. Okay, well. They fucking, uh, they, mm-hmm. they greet each other, fucking hugs him, and he's like, you, you're okay, dude. And he's yeah. like, you're all right. Um, his uncle gives a gives him money. Apparently, in that mm-hmm. universe, uh, I guess Peter Parker just has to struggle in everything, yeah, no matter exactly. what. Well, especially uh, the mom doesn't have her husband anymore. True. Yeah. That's right. You're mm-hmm. absolutely right. And you we see, see the big mural of his uh, uncle at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. And then the I- iconography so perfect that we see it at the end. It's his fucking dad. Oh. So there was a, there was a party mm-hmm. uh, that again Miles was late for to bring the cakes, mm-hmm. and it was a, it was supposed to be a celebration of of becoming captain mm-hmm. things are starting to look up miles might be accepted to a college mm-hmm. and, and to you my brother like they show the mural and it says uh, uh rest in power which yeah. is like just him looking up it looks awesome it's great um and this one he says like hey you like you got your plans and miles is just trying to sell the fact that he's from there mm-hmm. it's like yeah, yeah. i you mind running it by me like one more time they go up and like boom it's revealed Mm -hmm. rest in power and it's his father yeah like with a giant captain badge on his shoulder and everything yeah and like he's already passed he's already gone yeah i want to know knowing this now this is just a little bit of third perspective knowing this now yeah did miguel know did he do that shit on purpose where he knew he was going to send miles to that universe and potentially destroy him and everything. I don't Did, think so. You don't no. think so? I, because I think that like it was just the the glitch of the system. Because they, because Miguel knows where where the dimension thrower throws you. Yeah, yeah. Like he knows how the system works. So mm-hmm. and he told him he's like, you're a glitch. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to exist. Yeah. So when he threw him in there, did he know that was going to happen? Well, they do end up both him and uh, Spider Woman and the uh, O'Reilly uh, Spider Man. They all show up in that universe, so they know he's there. But I'm curious if they, yeah, if he was trying to like you know open up and like get mm-hmm. stop that thing from happening. But I don't know. He might have. It's it's one of those things where like it's so poetically it's like Shakespeareanly yeah. like mix up that you're just like man this is so well written mm-hmm. that you're just like I need to know what happens yeah because then they show up to their lair they show up to their lair and in their lair there happens to be somebody that he's just like his uh, uncle he's trying to plead to his uncle yeah his uncle punches and he's just like he's like, like I know you're the prowler he's like I'm not it's like oh wait you're not and mm-hmm. then like he turned like he he's like locked into this uh punching bag mm-hmm. and like his uncle's just doing prowler shit Be- yep. he's just being menacing and a badass mm-hmm. yeah and uh it's revealed that there is no spider-man in this universe no nope. because peter or sorry not peter miles morales is actually fucking prowler fucking prowler it's so good and he like even tells him he's just like dude our dad will die if i don't go back to my universe yes. he's like yours your well. dad yep it is like oh god dude, it's so no. fucking good the yeah i, I don't I, I i didn't i personally didn't see this type of ending coming yeah right where it was gonna be like oh me versus me mm-hmm. because it felt more like me versus a system type yes. situation yeah but no now mm. it's me versus a system me versus myself yeah. me versus someone who's trying to defeat me yeah everything oh well, the spider-man life way to go well especially because this movie has like a lot of that like parenting stuff going on oh my that, god like, yes that's what i think the next movie is going to dwell on is the fact that like if this dude didn't have as strong of role models as he mm-hmm. did if the one bad role, mo- role model got through and kept getting through yes. He would have had a completely different life mm-hmm. and especially the fact that the entire like that there's there's elements of this that feel like they're going to show that in the next movie everybody needs that hero you know the symbolism is everybody needs a hero that they can look up to but that hero doesn't need to suffer alone and mm-hmm. that that hero doesn't need to be one person mm-hmm. it can be a group of people that are all working together to yeah. strive for better and if we put all of the pressure on one fucking person they're gonna fucking break yeah and so the fact that this society doesn't have that symbol 
creates just bedlam in the streets. Everything's like on fire. Mm -hmm. They see like, oh, this place doesn't have Spider-Man, but it has bad role models yeah, <laughs> that no. are doing nothing but like destroy everything. And it flips the trope that Marvel, this, this flips a lot of Marvel tropes on mm -hmm. their head that the movies have been doing because a lot of the whole tropes like in, uh, I think it was Civil War, mm. uh, Vision says, well, when Iron Man came out, we saw a lot more other supervillains happen to say that because there's an Iron Man, other people are gonna rise up to defeat him. When in reality, this movie is trying to show, I feel, when they go to universe 24 or 42, yeah. that without like, there's a terror, like there is there is horrible things happening. Mm -hmm. And that Spider-Man, because there's a Spider-Man, doesn't mean that villains are gonna happen. It means mm -hmm. that because there is bad things happening, we need Spider-Man to rise up and take care of it. Yeah. It's not the idea that like, well, you're Spider-Man and if you didn't mess with the collider, I wouldn't have turned to the spot. It's like, no, you would have. Because yeah. the fucking Clyro was going to blow up either way. Yeah. It's not his fault. Exactly. And it's the idea that Spider-Man is trying to fix bad things. He's not the one making the bad things mm -hmm. happening. And those things are coming up to defeat him. He's just the one that's trying to make sure that everybody's good. Yet the mm -hmm. one Spider-Man that wants to do all that and mm -hmm. screwed it all up because he was being selfish yeah. is trying to make him the like... It, it, it's it's this whole inner conundrum that our bad guys have. Yeah, our bad guys are just messy headed people mm -hmm. who like they, they have such a big mess in their brain yeah. that the one guy was like, "Hey, I think we should just do this." Mm -hmm. They're like, "No!" <laughs> like, like I love them. Yeah. It's, it's that's like they love the mess in their heads. Yeah, they they love that world that they've created. That yeah. like if anyone comes against it, yeah. if anyone sees anyone trying to help anyone to try to against it, mm -hmm. that. That's when everyone should group up and like tackle yeah. that one. It's like what? Yeah. It's 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 all contradictory to themselves, yeah. which I think is it kind of makes this is these are like the new bad guys almost. Mm -hmm. Just these big yeah. contradictory assholes, these beast well, contradictory systems and stuff. That and especially, yeah, a lot of movies are doing this like system thing. Mm -hmm. And especially the multiverse, where like the multiverse in Loki was like the um the he who remains. Is like, well, I made the TVA, so we have the system, and in the system, we'll keep everything in line. Mm -hmm. If we keep everything in line, everything will be fine. But if we don't, then a bunch of me are gonna show up, they're gonna fuck you up. Yeah. And so he's creating a system so that he can control everything. Yeah. We see that that's bad. The same movie does the same thing where mm -hmm. they're like, the multiverse can only exist if we all keep this system together. Yeah. And we see that a lot of these movies have these systems or like, you know, this organization that keep things afloat. But the best system, though it's hard and mm -hmm. near impossible, is always changing and always yeah. trying to get better and better. And the fact that they've created this entire structure mm -hmm. and this web that is completely unchanging, and if one side yeah. breaks, the other one breaks, is like not not sustainable. Yeah, this villain has it has it in their head is like you see, like there's literally the scenes like you see all these you see all these universes. Mm -hmm. They're in the uh, web world where like. Mm -hmm. Very reminiscent to uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, where yeah. they introduced the, the things like, bam, and like through the mm -hmm. web, you see a frame. Yeah. It's like super cool. Mm -hmm. and, and they did that, and they showed like every single Spider-Man movie, every yep. single Spider-Man reference and the fucking and cartoon shows. The cartoon shows, like the, everything. The like fan favorite one that was on Disney that yes. they had to fucking kill. The, yeah. and, and like everything. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that this villain is like, yeah, these are like everything that I, I'm trying to control. It's like, mm -hmm. do you, you're, you yourself are looking and mm -hmm. all the lies that you're trying to control. Yeah. You see these webs, how messy they are. Yeah. And you're trying to make, you're not only trying to make sense of it, mm -hmm. but you're trying to like put patterns into it. Yeah. When it's like, no, you're nope. trying, no, mm -hmm. stop it. Yeah. A lot of these villains can just, just fucking stop. chill out, dude. Also, it's, and it's the fact that these villains, um, how can I say, they try to solve a problem mm -hmm. that like, they try to solve something that there was nothing there to solve. Exactly. There was literally nothing there to solve. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? And the only like problem that we see is the fact that like apparently because of the super collider thing mm -hmm. that happens is that there are now rifts between the different universes. And the problem that we see of like, yeah, all of these things are running out of control mm -hmm. is that, yeah, things are running out of control and you all together can help fix it. But you all keep being dickheads and being yeah. like, no, you're all supposed to be dark brooding assholes like this fucking vampire. We're all Batman. <laughs> exactly. We all have to be Batman. It's, it's fucking like, ridiculous. like, no, you don't have to be yeah. the Batman. Mm -hmm. You can be Batman without having your parents yes. killed. Hell yeah. And so we end the movie on the most fucking dour note. Yes. And like that, that ending credit sequence is so sad, oh. like the music. But we get this like heart wrenching moment mm -hmm. of we see uh, of seeing that 
uh, Miles is just left with his alternate self yeah. and we'll see how that works out. But then also that Gwen is assembling a team that's actually hopefully going to work together. Hopefully. That's all of his all of his old friends. Who do we see in that team? Uh, we saw the um, the one with the mech. Uh, we see Spider Noir. Yep. We see um, Spider, Spider Punk. Uh, Spider Pig Spider is Pig, also there. Spider Punk. Um, Gwen, and I don't know if I'm missing somebody. Uh, um, from um, earlier in the movie. Which one? I forgot. Uh, he had oh, the, the Indian one? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. also there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Who else? Who else? I think that was about it. There that was, was, about was it. a nice team. Yeah. I it, it, We see that ending frame. Mm -hmm. and all them pose up, boom, ready. Mm -hmm. Which is like, again, like, why? Like, if he's there, why is he okay? You know, yeah. what's going on here? Mm -hmm. um, I, did, I, I wasn't expecting the to be continued. I was not. <sighs> I'll be honest. I heard, I, I remember actually hearing that it was a part mm. one months ago. Damn. And I don't remember why, I'd, I have no idea why I forgot. Was it through like an interview or something or? I, I feel like I saw like on, a, on an image, like mm -hmm. somebody said, this is part one of two. But the main thing that just like, it just, it just really got me is the fact that they're just like, cool, they will return in Beyond the Spider-Verse. I was like, why isn't that out now? Yeah. I want it now. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, how can I say this? I'm, I'm so, I'm so sick of the verse. I'm so sure. sick of verse. Yeah. The, the word verse. Yeah, yeah. Make, make your scripts off the verse. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like, dude, this might be a little bit of a personal problem, but I was going through YouTube mm -hmm. and like, dude, there's some crazy people out there. <laughs> I was just scrolling by and I saw Spider-Man, whatever verse. And mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way this brand new movie's on YouTube right now. Oh. And like, I click on it mm -hmm. and it's like, no. Dummies like me need to just read the entire thing. I thought they released the whole movie. No, that's the first one. Oh, yeah. And I was like, come exactly. on. Titles are too similar. Stop it. it. Really Stop is. it with the similar stuff. No yep. way home, far from home. Yeah. Uh, take away, take mm -hmm. away to home. Yeah. And like, then, I can barely excuse this one just because they all have to do with the multiverse. And it's yeah. like, it's the core of like the symbolism too. Mm -hmm. But my God, like, I just, I want that next. I want the next one so bad. Yes. They did such a good job of setting it up. Mm -hmm. And I just, it's one of those movies where I just, I feel, I feel like I'm not going to stop thinking about it because of not only how gorgeous and simple the visuals were to understand, but like really there's so much there that mm -hmm. you can just deep dive into. But also the fact that like, this is one of those, I need to coin a term for this, or there should be a term for this, where it's like a movie that excels on like every level. Like visuals were gorgeous. Mm. I know they call them like a 10 out of 10. I might even give it a 10 out of 10. Like I really love this, but like the visuals were stunning. It was fucking funny as fuck. It was, yeah. There's so much subtext and a lot of really good, like emotional, uh, internal, Too external st Too relatable. stakes, philosophical stakes. Relatable, yeah. And that there isn't, I, I can't picture like another thing doing this as well as it does. Mm -hmm. And the reason I bring that up now because that next movie has a lot on its shoulders. Like, mm. my God, good luck. The 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 amount of uh, just wait alone in that in that last scene yeah. of just them meeting themselves. Yeah. It's like, hey, Miles, it's me, Miles, evil Miles. Yeah. Like, how you doing? Oh. It's like that itself is it's like... It's so comic booky. Yeah, yeah seriously. Mm -hmm. it, 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 how do you get out of that situation? Mm -hmm. Like, you already got yep. caught, mm -hmm. that type of situation. Yep. It, it's It's... Is it gonna start kind of like just in the middle of action? Yeah. Is there gonna be a little bit of investigation work? Mm -hmm. Like who knows how this next one's gonna start? Yeah. I I did not foresee this ending whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, as someone like I said, I've only seen the first trailer and like a little bit of like maybe the second trailer or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I I knew about Cowman or whatever, <laughs> but like like I try to avoid this stuff and stuff because like yeah. I feel like. Dude, I'm glad they don't spoil that shit. Don't yeah, spoil yeah. this ending. Please I really don't. hope. Oh my god. But especially that. I mean. That is the one thing that might take this out of a 10, is that I wish that this was a standalone movie. Because yeah. I want to be able to go back and rewatch it and enjoy it alone. Yeah. But similarly to Empire Strikes Back is that there are elements of it that you're just going to be like, man, that was amazing. I'm going to go back and watch that part of that mm -hmm. movie. But at the same time, there's just this this hole in my heart that I'm just like, I want, I want everything to work out for everybody. I want everything to go well. But especially that this movie does such a good job on its own mm -hmm. that like... It's just, it's so hard. It's so hard for me to like really be like, this is a 10 out of 10, this is a perfect movie. When I hope that the third act is pretty good in the next movie. I, I think in a year from now, we can properly give these movie series like sure. an actual review. Yeah. Like an actual stamp. But Boom. Similarly to like Infinity War. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, I gotta say, 
Infinity War had a meme going around, like, that Thanos is, like, the actual protagonist of the movie. Because mm -hmm. he's the one that actually has a path he's going on, yeah. and everyone else is trying to stop him. Yeah. So he has a goal, and he achieves it by the end. This movie, similarly, Spotman is kind of the like the protagonist we find his origin story he goes through trials and tribulations mm -hmm. to get even more powerful he becomes stupidly powerful and now he's yeah. going on his on his rampage of revenge and so we're like okay he we'll see what happens this become, new thanos yeah no he literally becomes a a, a godlike entity dude he's fucking scary like when yeah. like everything turns into like squigglies around him and everything's just all black like, it's, it's, ki God. it's kind of uh, horrifying where you go over like from this uh borderline likable yeah like he was like very quirky likable this is like, sad part is i'm just yeah. like man he could have been like a just a chill guy and like yeah. similar to spider-man it's like yeah i was fumbling i was messed up and awkward mm -hmm. but like look at me now like yeah. i'm going I'm, like i'm doing good with my powers mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah. and like they could have had like a whole relation type thing mm -hmm. but no no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get beamed by this laser and become a god. And everyone's a product of their influences, and especially make, like Miles just knows he's just like, well, this mm -hmm. is what Spider-Man does. He quips, uh, he uh, quips and stuff. And I mean, he probably does that himself too. Yeah. But yeah, if he just wasn't such a big bull, like that's the thing that I find funny about this movie is how much they pick at parts of Spider-Man that they're just like, you probably shouldn't be doing this. It probably isn't a good thing. Yeah. And the fact that he like he bullies the villains in every movie is something that like. I swear, like, Cracked had an article about it or something. There's so much online, like, pontification and, like, yeah. video essays saying, like, Spider-Man's actually kind of a dick. Like, if we uh, think yeah. about it, that he is, like, dealing with all these mentally ill people in a really, like, mean-hearted way. And that's yeah. kind, of, kind of what we get in Spider-Man 3 where he becomes, mm -hmm. like, Venom. But... Yeah, that if he had just been a bit more kind, this all could have gone a completely different way. Yeah. If you just don't like treat a person like they're the the villain when they're like, yeah, a product of a terrible situation to show that like, hey, you're kind of a, it's kind of all your fault that you turned into a whole guy. Because like, yeah. you were the one that like really loved all of this collider mm -hmm. stuff and you fucking got sucked up into it. You were doing a bad thing and that turned you bad. But you know, we can forgive it and yeah. we can move forward. Like, like you shouldn't be mad when people have the reaction to you when you do the thing that you do, when you yeah. did the thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But again, when, 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 uh, how can I say, when the retaliation back is, mm -hmm. is ununderstanding, yeah. refuses to understand, yeah. or they have their own thing going on. It's like, hey, um, my life is a little bit more important. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And like, yep. That's yeah. That I, I could see that creating a villain and whatnot. Exactly. What I want to know is like yeah. in this next movie, how you have Prowler, you have all the Spider Men, you mm -hmm. have all the good Spider Men, mm -hmm. you have giant man who like <laughs> creates holes, who creates black holes now. Oh, it's so like excited. what what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. All right, man. I really think it's gonna be like just that that bit about Miles and the other version of himself mm -hmm. and like seeing the dichotomy between the two and how like. They're a product of their own systems. Like, yeah. it, it, that's what I think. Is that like the next movie is going to have a lot more of that? We're a product of the system that created us, and we don't need to perpetuate that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it. Because like, I, if you had told me the like maybe just the you know the initial external stakes of like here this is kind of what happens in this movie, I wouldn't have remotely been able to have dreamed up how well <laughs> not only they executed it, but also how well it just. Uh, just comes across it's just so i know we've been saying this for the whole fucking movie but it's just like it just seems so simple and effective and mm -hmm. it's the kind of thing that yeah either it's like a fight it, it initiates a fight or flight in me seeing something so good mm -hmm. that i'm like i either want to never make art ever again because it'll never be as good or i want to like put my nose to the grindstone and make something that like will hopefully get even remotely close yeah to yeah <sighs> but no I, I i think um if i were to put this uh this movie, this movie's pretty up there. It's a lot of fun. Like yeah. I, I enjoy like how can I say, the the animation movies have become so good nowadays. Puss it, in Boots and The Last Wish was amazing. Yep, so good, mm -hmm. so stinking good. Bad guys was great. Like Bad guys was knows great. what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about this Fire and Water. We can skip over that one. But like, <laughs> I think, I think, like but like, like <laughs> God, that commercial. Yeah, the commercial for Elementals came out before, and we we're just like, who who could give a shit? Like, like who? Yeah. What the? We we've mm -hmm. heard and seen this. We'll story. see. It could be good, but I'm it just could saying, be. man, it could be. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I like um this new this new um. This new turn, yeah. more adult language is being used. Yeah. It's like you just took a crap on the system. I fucking love that. <laughs> like, 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 dude, what? Yep. That's so good. Well, and especially that, that we're we're reaching the point finally where I I will excuse 
Super mm -hmm. Mario movie, it's made for kids. I get it. Yeah. It doesn't need to be like the high art like this fucking thing is. Yeah. But at the same time, we're seeing more of these movies that have a lot to say, but are, in my opinion, I mean, maybe kids might not be able to like piece together some mm -hmm. of the symbolism here in like a way that they can take home and like try yeah. to act on. But I feel like we're seeing so many more movies that have so much to say about not only the adult experience, but everybody's experience that I, it's just a brave new world of like, wow, kids movies, kids movies that are supposed to be dumb and stupid are saying such incredible mm -hmm. things now. Dude, there's yeah. lessons to be learned in Bluey, dude. I don't care what anybody Fucking says. Bluey is gross. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, I want to see Enter the Blueyverse. Enter like, the Blueyverse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm trying to mm -hmm. think like, oh man. Mm -hmm. it, w would you have seen this and not Dolby? I, I wasn't gonna let myself. I, I would have, but I like literally when I saw the option, I'm like, we're going for that shit. We're going now, for that's it. what's happening. And um, the one other thing that I wanted to mention about mm -hmm. the, the Spider Verse is that the best character cannot be replicated in yeah. every Spider Verse. So J. Jonah Jameson was played by the same guy, same guy. It, in it, every it, single universe. It has to, it has to be. Mm -hmm. No one else has has knocked it out of, out of the park. Nope, shit ain't he, gonna do, happen. Does he play as um? Does J.K. Simmons does um in the video games as well? I actually don't know. That's a good question. That'd be cool. Maybe. Probably. I, wish. I would see him yeah. do it. Mm hmm. Hell but no, yeah. I, I want to no, know. It's even funny that even the video games are part of the universe. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole segment in which, like, you see uh, every, like, bad, different versions of bad guys mm -hmm. in from different universes. That's yeah. why we see Donald Glover, or mm -hmm. not Donald Glover. Um, yeah, Donald Glover. Yeah, Donald Glover. Yeah, we yeah, see Prowler, Donald Glover. Yeah. We see him so as Prowler. Mm -hmm. We see uh, Mysterio, but like like in a weird like cartoon. Yeah, like, uh, like Rocky and Bullwink or something. Mm -hmm. And then kind of Mysterio. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's so good. She's like, she's just standing. Mm -hmm. like, hey. Yeah. Like all these other things. Mm -hmm. I, I want to talk. Oh, man. Would that be a different section? I mean, I arc? think... I I'm down to go into it. Mm -hmm. um, there were just a couple more like notes that I had, yeah, which please. were just primarily that like, this is weirdly the year of sequels. Uh, we saw this with uh, my brother and his mm -hmm. wife and they were talking about like, yeah, this is the year that, uh, yeah. Uh, Across the Spider-Verse is coming out. Like we just saw it and it is going to have a sequel. The new Mission Impossible is coming out. Mm -hmm. That's going to have a sequel. This is part one. And that Dune part two is coming out. Like there's a bunch of stuff that are just like, part of a series but not the kind of series that you you think they're not marvel stuff yeah we're building franchises for other stuff that felt novel and cool and are now becoming like cool okay let's keep running with it mm -hmm. and so i hope that works out i hope that i think so good. too mm -hmm. I, I i don't mind a long viewing experience as long as that's like entertaining and this yeah. is a testament to that mm -hmm. um even uh some longer movies like oh my gosh blade runner 20 uh whatever whatever yeah yeah mm -hmm. like that one was super long but like mm -hmm. it was so visually stunning visually yes. beautiful oh beautifully God. written stuff like that mm -hmm. um but mm -hmm. but yeah are we going to get to the point where we no longer have that mm -hmm. As in, like, instead of releasing two, two and a half hour movies, like yeah. one one year, the other the other year, mm -hmm. why not just release a five hour thing? Would you sit down and watch a five hour, a five hour event if I, it meant it, like if it was like satisfying? I would if it came out on fucking Netflix. Yeah, I keep watching fucking these these shows, and like I just finished. I watched all of Succession. Watched mm -hmm. all of White Lotus. Uh, I'm almost done with Barry. I'm almost done with Ted Lasso. Like, it's so funny how much. These have you movies. seen Beef yet? No, I need, is it good? Mm -hmm. uh, apparently it is. I haven't Should seen I anything about it. It's A24. It's, it's an A24 show. I didn't show. know about that. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? They're making shows um, now. Hell yeah. But like, it's we're getting to a point where there's so much good media out there. Mm -hmm. It just depends on a, what format they want to go and that this makes sense for movies. Movies are this crazy affair, in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that like a TV show... We can excuse if something's not, you know, perfect. It's not shot on anamorphic. It's not all of this other yeah. stuff. It doesn't have that film language. We can excuse it. But like a movie with all of the budget that it has, this thing spent so much time mm -hmm. on every single like piece of the buffalo. Every single part of like each scene had just such a new, cool, nuanced thing to say and show that like it. This is what I feel like is the, the cornerstone of cinema. Like mm -hmm. I came to this and I feel so enriched for seeing it. Yeah. And that it's told a story that like, I don't, I don't, 
I couldn't imagine in any other format. Like, not even a fucking video game. Like, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing could have done this. And you better go see it in fucking Dolby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. You can't, mm -hmm. I don't think you can turn this into a video game, a music video, no. or, or even in a shorter format. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I, I I personally wouldn't mind, like, a five-hour something. Yeah, same. People have done crazier movies, I'll sure. tell you what. Well, don't worry. You're you're totally right, because there's going to be two parts to this fucking movie, and they're both going to probably equal to five hours when put together. Somebody told me that Oppenheimer is a two-parter. What is the second part? Like, now? <laughs> <laughs> it, cuts, it cuts to us. <laughs> yeah. Everyone just sat and was like, yeah. Dude. Oh, cool. There's a bomb. Great. There's a bomb. God, awesome. I am really excited. I hope that, no though. one uses it. <laughs> yeah, please. please. That actually would be kind of interesting to show. Like, the, two, the second part is like the aftermath of like, well, now we have nukes. Good fucking luck. The second part is going to yeah. be Tom Cruise complaining that Oppenheimer is <laughs> using all the IMAX <laughs> theaters. Yeah, it's like, we need the camera for my new Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> God. But yeah, let me run through any of my other yes, uh, notes in here. Um, one that I really love is that Lord Miller, who made this movie, mm -hmm. known for making the other fucking Lego movies. They're known for making these movies that kind of like are tilted on their head. Um, again, I got I got a remark. That chai tea and non bread are <laughs> fucking bullshit. I hate it. Just say chai. Just say non. Like, goddamn. Mm -hmm. It's the one word. Um, let me see. One that really got me, just because of like, it felt like an anime. Mm -hmm. We're in an anime. They're just like, I'm so fucking huge and ripped, and I'm the best fighter in the world, and I'm 12. Like, when they said, he's like, dude, I'm 15. I'm like, yeah. What? <laughs> All this weight on you, you're <laughs> 15. Dude's enormous. Like, mm -hmm. I like that they, like, aged him up a little bit oh, to yeah. be, like, fucking beefy. That he's, like, yeah, the first movie he was going through puberty, and now he's, like, in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, I want to say, as awkward or as fantastical where it mm -hmm. took a sequel to get there. Yes, Because, exactly. like, in the first one, he was still very skinny, very young and whatnot. Yeah. And this one, even Gwen is, like, you went through a growth spurt? Like, damn, yeah. like, you're fucking massive or whatnot. Or build, yeah. Or, like, mm -hmm. uh, unlike in um, uh, the one with Sam Raimi, mm -hmm. he just wakes up, he's, like, whoa like yeah. every nerd's dream you know yeah, exactly. whoa mm -hmm. and then two other things of course i mentioned it like when we were talking about the last movie but i don't think we don't have a video about that i don't think that uh 42 the spider 42 mm -hmm. is the funniest number he was in hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy oh yes yeah. the cosmic whale thing yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's the uh uh, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So I like that that was in the last movie. It's mm -hmm. also in this movie. And then also the fact that, I mean, we mentioned it earlier, but I really can't. As soon as as soon as soon I heard the word, where he's like, he's messing with the cannon. I'm like, yeah, there it is. We're, t we're talking about this is no longer about this universe. Mm -hmm. This is about like media in general. Yeah. This is about us changing these systems that we're in. I'm talking about the canon. This is this has to be like this. How many people are going to mm -hmm. get upset if it doesn't yeah. happen this mm -hmm. way? Yeah, exactly. The that, consequences of. And I'm curious if that was actually something they were thinking in the writers' room. Is like, oh well, you know, like Miles Morales' story is about his dad dying. So like, mm -hmm. are people going to be mad that we didn't do that? That we did the Prowler instead? Because I think that that was a way better story the mm -hmm. way they did it. But I'm curious if they were thinking that like, when we mess with the canon, wait, shit, write that down. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. What what does that mean when mm -hmm. we do that? Like, how do we show a system that is that is too rigid and like we need to kind of reassess it in different yeah, ways? Yeah. Just just view it at it differently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, That's it for me, man. I will also like to point something Please out. Please do. Uh, something about the shoes, sorry. Yeah, I, go it's, for it's it. always about the shoes. Yep. Uh, no, so I think um, Miles is wearing Chicago Air Force, not Air Force One, Chicago, uh, Chicago Ones. Okay. Which is like the black, white, red. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, he. I think they mentioned they're from Chicago. Just to match the Whopper. Yeah, to match the Whopper. <laughs> uh, when he gets to uh, Prowler World, at yeah. the end, his shoes become the fragmented ones. Ooh. When they had that one shot looking up between mm. his shoes, oh. you could tell by their pattern they were oh, all like, shoot, you're right. I noticed that. And, yeah, the and shoes I was themselves. like, damn, they did it to his shoes too. That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know when he's in a different God universe damn. for real. What a, is in his shoes, dude? Just the attention to detail in this fucking of, movie. That's, mm -hmm. that's this entire movie. Is the yeah. it's the beautiful 
just uh, it's unapologetic. Mm -hmm. Like there's scenes between uh, Gwen and his father. I love the scenes. Gwen's scenes are just so beautiful. God, I want to live in that. Like I just want like a VR experience in that like yes. melty pastel. We're, like, we're only yeah. only spider punk would understand the, the the fact that it's like oh yeah continuity screw it. Mm -hmm. It's like each shot there's a different background, a yeah. different color. Mm -hmm. Like as if everything they say is has a different tone and mood to it. Yeah, and it, it is it's all blending in and so nice mm -hmm. and like once they're like in the same shot you see the colors blending in it's yeah. like oh dude mm -hmm. i want to see more stuff like that yeah and i'm curious i i might need to re-listen to it but mm -hmm. there were stuff there was some stuff in the score like the music oh my god yes like, it was the music was so good but i i hate to say it but it weirdly reminded me of like if interstellar like you took the interstellar soundtrack and then asked daft punk to do mm, to do it i could see where, like, yeah there were some stuff in there that i'm like this is fucking tron legacy right here yeah some like, of yeah. it felt uh so it, it was all different some of yeah. it felt very 2000s to me at the mm -hmm. end where like i thought i was gonna hear a boom well bought the band the bam boom you know that <laughs> yeah, song yeah yeah like i thought i was gonna hear that mm -hmm. Uh, during Gwen's uh, moments when she was yeah. fighting Lizard, yeah, uh, the music was very chill and vibey. Mm -hmm. Like her, her, her entire mood was down. The story that she was telling was down. This, yep. this type of uh, experimentation. Yep. I feel like any producer would have been like, no action, mm -hmm. action is happening. There needs to be action music. Yep. It's like, no, dude, you can show action and show a different tone. Still, this is yep. a sad moment. She's yeah. killing her friend by like, accident. Jesus, like stuff yeah. like that. That. Mm -hmm. I, I like that they're doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, thank you. You're showing Same. me new ways to use my tools, I yep. feel, which is oh, pretty yeah. cool. That's the important thing about media, damn it. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what art is supposed to do. I, if there's anything I can say about this movie, it's art. It's art. And not AI art, it's people art. It's people art, made to, by real people. To the point where I gotta say, I'm so happy that the first, I think like after the stars, one of the first things of credits was like, here are all of the supervisors, the art supervisors that like made this shit work. Yeah. Thank them. This was fucking hard to mm -hmm. do. Like, my God. Yeah, when you watch this movie, you understand mm -hmm. what, what what we're talking about. Yeah. What the different styles is all that put together, the continuity behind them, the making sure mm -hmm. they're all right. And, and like, and I honestly, like when we were like talking about doing this episode, I was thinking, I'm like, well, I kind of want to go through each like scene and think about like all of the cool different things that they did and I was like it's inexplicable I can't mm -hmm. describe this shit to do, you yeah. it's this imagine trying to read this in a book like it doesn't exist yeah, so, how, how would you describe it I, it you just, don't. You don't. No. It's like it's it. It weirdly feels like that. that like when you read in a like Lovecraftian horror book, when they're just like it was like a prismatic this or that. It's just like no. Mm -hmm. You have to see the fucking thing. You yep. can't describe it. It just needs to be seen. And so I'm telling all of you. Go see this movie. I mean, yeah, go see it again. If you're at this point, you should have seen the movie. Yep. We, we've spoiled all of the best parts. And I, oh my God, I just can't believe how incredibly well they executed mm -hmm. this. And I can't believe how upset I am that I don't get to see the next one tomorrow. Like yeah. I need the new one now. Mm -hmm. So anything else you want to say about this beautiful movie? Uh, I have to say, yes, go watch it. I'm mm -hmm. definitely going to watch it again. Yep. Uh, uh, it, it's, I don't know if I'm going to watch kind of want to watch it again on the way. I know. Yeah, that's, that's that's the <laughs> yeah we, got, we got spoiled with our first viewing. The music mm -hmm. and everything is and is perfect. Uh, no, please go watch it. Yeah. I don't know what other movie is like doing this type of stuff. No. Really. Besides like, Puss in Boots. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> besides Puss in Boots. Mm -hmm. Just general good art. Yep. Good art to look at. Mm -hmm. Good stuff to pay attention to. Also, pay attention to the messages, damn it. If you're from an older generation, mm -hmm. pay attention. Also, the younger generation. Come yeah. on, guys. I think we all, we all have something. It's a movie for everybody. It's a movie truly you know, for everyone. At the end, it's about family. It's about family. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go see a Spider-Man and uh, like the video. Like the video? Uh, wait. This one's about family? What about X? What about... We could do a whole video about Fast X. Dude, fucking... Isn't that one oh also doing the whole two-part thing? They are! You're right! No!